Hey Flair, did you wave your wand over the magic word? Mm, Question of the day, yep. your stream title today, yep. or is the stream running on pure anarchy? Both. It's both, sir. It's both. We're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna go do some social posts real quick. Since I'm starting early, and people aren't expecting me to be online yet. And... Let's see. Yeah, give me a sec. Um. The tweeter. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Sorry, gotta make and go live posts real quick, lack. Shall. Okay, we're going to look for Hjalmar. I, like, was falling asleep last night when I was doing this quest, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> sure, we're not really sure how far I got. Um. I should go. Fare you well. Fare you well. Okay, and then the last thing is an Instagram story, and I'll be ready on that count I'm trying to get better at some of this promotion stuff and it sucks because it just kind of feels dumb to do but it's probably important I'm gonna take the post I made about this and then save it as a story story because on a story I can add a link there we go link 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 Twitch.tv slash flare. Okay. Text up and then move the thing and then okay 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 right go okay that's enough of that now the ads are almost done it's usually basically just gonna be my normal thing I I probably will come up with some sort of like starting soon screen not really a starting soon screen but uh, something on like the Flarebot config. That's awesome. Um, but I also would like to automate some of that process. As soon as you automate something, it just like for this kind of thing, it makes a lot more sense to actually handwrite it each time. Or at least write the posts manually and then posts them, post them automatically. 
Congratulations, Something. the Lord Falcones, for being first. What up, like LF? Me, who couldn't even win a race in a motherboard's manual? Checkered flag. How is it going? So I'm pretty sure I gotta fight a giant at some point here, but. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Find Helmar, find the man the trolls captured. Hello, the Lord Falcones. What's Daily up? Grind in FN, eh? Hope the RNG gods FN. favor you today. Four Leaf Clover. Is that Fortnite? Ooh, there's a little questiony, questiony guy down here. Fortnite. I have, um, for whatever reason, just never played Fortnite. The, um, the Lego Fortnite stuff has piqued my interest, however. Not enough for me to try it yet, but I don't mind watching Fortnite. Yeah, I've heard that it's like, I've heard very positive reviews of it. I have I actually haven't heard clunky before, but that also wouldn't shock me. Uh oh, we got a bunch of enemies coming in who I will not pronounce their name on stream. And I wish Geralt would stop trying to say it. Because it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> yep. If I really overemphasize the K, Nekar, it's not so bad. But if I um, just say the word the way that I read it, it's not something I want to say and be misunderstood. <laughs> I, uh, I put a sweatshirt on because I was cold and now I'm all I'm all warm all of a sudden. So I may have to go change real quick. Oh. Let's just Skyrim the cliff. These goats are laughing at me. What was that bassy yell? Did I find the giant? Or was that just ambient sound? It sounded like a didgeridoo. Oh, cave entrance. Okay. I stumble upon? Whither did I stumble? Okay, so this is like where I'm there's a scuffle and I'm chasing the giant around. Find the man the trolls captured. Yo, check the panels Let's below. The hell up here. Stickers extension. Slap some stickers on stream. Make it find rain. Helmar, find Hail Helmar's camp. Frame picture. Okay, let's go there first. So what are the, like, dailies in Fortnite like? Play certain number of matches... Get kills. Find a thingy. Got hit good. I need to get back into hunt. Um, once I, once I'm no longer playing an open world game, I love open world games, but I'm so obsessed. So like, it's all I play. Like when I get a little, I want to get a little time to play games outside of stream time. I'm playing this, and I'm doing like side quest grind. <laughs> Um, when I'm playing other games on stream that are a little bit more linear and I can actually finish in a reasonable number of streams, I don't play them off stream. And then I play something like Hunt or whatever. 
on off stream and I'm very much starting to miss Hunt Showdown. Um, so I believe I will probably stream it for a little while after. Wow. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm not the biggest fan of streaming co-op stuff, but it's just because of discomfort more than anything else and un unfamiliarity. Disfamiliarity? Discomfort. So where is this freaking? Okay, yep. Oh, here we go. Ice trolls, eh? And I liked how they did the weekly challenges on there. I like that they're not daily. I like that it was weekly. In a good session, you can get. If you play a good, if you get a good crew and you're all working together, you can get through the weekly challenges in one pretty long session or two smaller ones. I need that. And there, some of them are interesting. There's a lot more kind of PVE. There's PVP challenges and PVE challenges, so like you can actually just kind of solo poke through them and play that game PVE even if you really want to, and then just run away from humans, play play hunt like a coward. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's a good way for me to learn um, the spatial audio and all that stuff because it's so important in that game. A riddle, eh? All right. Play me for the man, then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot too. Good, good. <laughs> what? Why riddle? Why? No bubble. No bubble. First riddle. Lots eats. Lots eats. Lots drinks. Lots drinks. B E B. Step big he, big he bash. He eats a lot, drinks a lot. He's big, he steps big, he bashes big. Is a troll? A troll, of course. Uh, good. Now you ask. Okay. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. Breath. Piss. <laughs> Piss. Human cheat. I'm just gonna end up having Square. to fight these guys. Stupid riddle. Feather. Troll not old. Not this. Can you walk? Uh, I, uh, I'll manage. Who's this dude? It's one of Yalmar's crew? Let's get out of here. Here, here's a scratchy-ass burlap sh shirt. Hold on. Wah -wah. Wow. Gotta love the whole Discord. It's funny, as a moderator of a Discord channel, you see, like, my channel has, like, I have, like, 200 people in my channel. It's been at 206 for, like, months. And it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and it goes down and I see all the people that leave and it's like I kind of wish I just didn't see the people that leave. I don't know them. Every once in a while I have someone that I do know leave and I'm just like I get it because I'm in 50 I'm probably in 70 discords. You all right? And most of them I just have on mute. Never go and every once in a while I have a reason to go in there and wow. search for something or whatever but 
I'm active in my Discord, and I poke around in five or six others. Curious where he is myself. And then some of them are just for like support. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I missing that night. I know he would have. Software support. Why are you looking for Yalmar? But now that I have my own and stuff, I like have so much less time to spend in other people's discords that I feel I don't I don't feel bad when people leave because I'm just like I, I get it. Where did Yalmar think the ice giant was? How do you and the others get separated? Tell me about the expedition. Crocs and the Yalmar. I'm gonna skip through some of these like minor things. Irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's up. Been mates since we were lads. Been mates since we were lads. Saris. Saris. Forth her claim to the throne. Saris. But. Like father, like daughter. What about Crack? He support her. He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled, especially since Saris set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og, and no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar'd only- Speaker Og. Come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. Thank the gods. Well, how'd you get separated? How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. <coughs> Aye. In these, in these caves, caves, bastard screeched. Bastard screeched. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Those trolls were gonna eat him. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the job. We'd learned where Viggy the Loop. Okay, let's go. Wait. I'll go back in and kill those trolls, though. Good. Let's go. Maybe. Ooh, level 27. That's. I think I get a new slot. Yeah, alright. So I have crippling strikes on, I have whirl on. I have precise blows on. I have muscle memory on. I have rend on. I've got arrow deflection on. It's gonna be a new spell, I think. I think those are all the ones I want on the melee side. I want to set. Should I set the alternate mode for magic trap? in intensity. What I want is these supercharged glyphs. For now, let's see. Can intensity. <laughs> let's see. Which one's a sustained glyphs? Increases dur sign duration by 10 seconds. Do I need exploding shield, active shield, delusion? For now, I'm going to leave this stuff on. I love active shield. Delusion is good for dialogues. Um, let's see if there's anything interesting here, actually. Vitality generation during the day. Stamina at night. Max vitality. This is what I would want if I want to go to medium armor. Steady shot. If your current stamina level is too low, and science can be cast using adrenaline. Hmm. Increase adrenaline generation by 5%. Using signs generates it. General and point adrenaline points increase both weapon damage and sign intensity. 
Maximum toxicity. Battle trance now increases critical hit chance. Hmm. If available, adrenaline boosts will be consumed to reduce the toxicity cost of drinking potions by... Hmm, that's kind of interesting. The bonus from a place in power lasts indefinitely. Eating food regenerates vitality for 20 minutes. Bomb and special bolt effects. Bomb damage is tripled. Each defensive action generates adrenaline points. <laughs> nah. I'm gonna go with my original plan and start and just keep continue working on Yurden. I wanna get down here. I need four more points across the board. So I'll need one more there and then maybe one in Puppet or something. Or just can intens intensity, maybe. Ultimately, I'm going to... Let's equip... Damages and slows enemies. Yeah, we're going to set the... I've never used the secondary... Jurgen. No, we're we going, Pola. I've never been here before. In fact, you point. Of course, we. Any. Well. All right. Rough are cowards. They'll say it in so. I'm far away. Certainly wouldn't be those rough are cowards. Funny. Thought they would. They are. Let's get going. Boop, 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 boop. It's funny, I'm like, I wonder where some of my regulars are, but they're all streaming. <laughs> like, everybody's streaming tonight. Thank you for being here, if you're here. Speaking of which, let me load up a couple. Do do we got Cujo? We got I think Rev's on too. BJ's on. I'll load up a couple tabs. Jeff, Tabitha. Everybody's everybody's streaming tonight. Happy New Year. Is Kuja playing Elden Ring? Oh, it's Demon Souls. Nice. PJ. Oh, they're playing Ark. And Rev is on Elden Ring. Sir Hal. And he's got no we got we got no transcoding on these people right now. It sucks. Well we'll see if it tanks my frame rate. Doesn't seem to have. Here we go. Now we're going across the lake, you say. What fucking lake? The Lord of Unk. Across the lake. Find Hjalmar. Let's go. Explore the remains of Hjalmar's camp. Spooky. Some spooky ass sounds around here. In this town, particularly. Everything is ashes. Alright, fine. 
Where's the signpost? There we go. Okay, we're going. I'm gonna go to Urskar and then just run north. Doodly doodly doot. What do we got? Oh, there's like a little tower here. Ooh. Well, something went poorly down here. What else am I meant to examine here? Cross the lake, find Hjalmar's camp. There's a sword here, but it doesn't seem to be examinable. So I don't think, I don't know if this quest is a little bit bugged or what, but we're just going to carry on. It's like, why is this highlighted? Is it not even this quest? Explore the remains of Hjalmar's camp with your richer senses. Like, is there one thing that I haven't examined that's going to trigger this part of the quest to get fixed? But probably not. Probably just go and move on to the next step. Like, I can't... This sword looks like I should be able to examine it. Because it's glowing red. But... Alas, I cannot. And then also this sword. And then they ran out of there. This will follow this shit. It'll go back to the town, I think. What is that over there? A bear. Can I hang your head from my saddle? A big ass bear. Okay, and then the tracks go off-road here, and I bought some necrophages, and then they head this way, and this is probably... You just scared the shit out of me. Okay, so then they just end. What heck? Ads will hit in two minutes. 
It'll just be a quick 90 um, second break. Okay, Oops. fine, Yalmar. Stick Let's go Power back blast. here. Where the marker is. I think I feel like this quest is like real bugged. If I don't find anything suitable here, I'm just gonna go to the find across the lake thing. Can't get in. Locked. What on earth? Key required. No, I don't think so. I don't think a key will be required. Here we go. Empty. Okay, and it's even showing these chests as, like, full, and then when I examine them, they're not. It's fucking weird. Nothing. Alright, and then Giant's Footprints. What up, Midge? Good Happy evening, New Year. Midge Worth underscore. Welcome to the stream of endless oh, it was fine. digital trips. Crescent Moon. I did this. Basically. How about yourself? We. Wow. Well, well, that worked out fine. Cross the lake, it says. I've seen right. you a little bit more active on um, and indulge in some cinematic shenanigans. Use exclamation social and stuff a little bit lately. Begin. Popcorn collision. Hey, Flair. Cujo McFly is ready to climb the cliff. Yo. We are streaming Demon Souls. What up, Cujo? What's up? Hope you're slaying demons left and right in your games. Cross the lake. Cujo McFly gives Flair a high five. That's 66 times now. What is going on? Let's see what we got here. Is this Demon Souls? Nice. Demon vanquished. How is... I, I've heard that Demon Souls is quite difficult. And I'm surprised that you chose that one. Giant came down the mountain, barged into the village. Thank you for the raid. The down from the inside. Come on, Yalmar. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I know how it goes. It's an ebbs and flows kind of thing. Finally found the the where I left off on this quest from last night. I was like straight up nodding off last night. Fallen. I was sure you died. Where have you been? Welcome in, y'all. Thank you for coming in on the raid. I don't know if if you came in with Cujo and you aren't subbed, if you got ads right then or not. I think it's actually gotten smarter to. And you'd have rather gone with her dodge ads sometimes with raids but i think they just ran so i'm sorry for the timing there i'll never forget you came to i don't know anything about the bosses in demon souls um but it is one of the ones that i'm interested in playing my my 
like our chosen family that lives that we go visit every once in a while he's got it on his ps5 and it's like the only game on his ps5 that i'm interested in playing so every time i'm there i play like a tiny bit of it but i've probably played like three hours total wow and most of that was before i played elden ring so it was mostly just me dying to the same like basic enemies over and over and just trying to learn it I saw something about that Mitch are you going to be just designing it or are you going to try to teach yourself to build it all itself I may go back to Dark, Dark Souls 3 at some point since I already own it and try that I also own Bloodborne, but if I'm going to play another game like that, I want to stream it. Where's the rest of your crew? Oh, right on. We our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after the battle on the lake. Good thing you showed up when you did. Because Leif's wounds need tending. Those bitches tore them up good. Well, I'm sure you'll have no problem finding uh, people to bounce ideas off of and seems more doing off my camera here. There we go. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. Are you thinking about returning to streaming? Our bards sing ballads about you. My father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are yeah, the skill sure. of the lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? You know me? Oh. Oops. So yeah. Your father sent me to find you. I have a giant to defeat. Head home soon as I've done that. Gotta help Leif first. Leif's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Wah wah. Wah wah. Sink his blade into the giant's heart. Sword on the bones of his ancestors. Yeah. Yeah, I hear ya. Coming with me. I um I've been streaming a little bit extra lately because I've been kind of just taking a break with YouTube stuff, but now that the new year has started, I um am going to start enacting enacting my plan that I've been working on with YouTube. Um to just to push out a little bit more purposeful content that builds upon you know one bit one video builds on the next i want to do new i want to i'm going to start with a couple refreshes of old videos so that i have a new video to reference for like how to get streamerbot set up that has anything to do with the current version so many of my videos are still mostly valid but then it's like the whole change that they made where you use triggers to connect actions and commands instead of directly attaching them is like a big enough stumbling block that I get comments about it constantly which is fine and I'm gonna leave those videos up because those comments are wonderful and then I can be like oh hey look at this video that explains this change or oh hey look I've made an updated version of this video go watch it here um so or I can point to a blog post that explains it, stuff like that. That's been good. I've been I've started answering questions with blog post instead of like directly in YouTube or Discord sometimes too, so that way I can start getting traffic over there. A mysterious map. Hey, this looks familiar. So my almost all of my goals for this this year are going to be youtube and blog goals and almost none of them are going to be stream goals and i'm just going to enjoy stream and stream what i want and play with streamer bot stuff and whatever 
but I'm not worried about stream at all. The, the main reason I stream is because it's enjoyable and that it is the source of my expertise for YouTube. Um, so if I didn't stream, I wouldn't have any authority on the topics I try to talk about on YouTube. So it's actually been really nice. It's like that that paradigm has taken the the stress out of streaming entirely and I just kind of like turn stream on and let it rip. And it's pretty good. I'm telling you. And if someone comes in and asks a question, I'll stop what I'm doing and tinker. Smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. This guy's such a dingus. I'll cover you. Freaking dingus. The giant in sight. Shwabam. Where are we going? Getting cold there. Gotta be close. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Veggie? You should be referencing. For good reason too. Final Fantasy VI. Not Chrono Cross. What? Your bloody mind, <laughs> Thought he was your I'm joking. He is, which is I don't know why I dislike Chrono Cross so much. I think it just it disappointed me because it wasn't Chrono Chrono Trigger 2. It was just its own thing, and it was a good thing. But in the moment when it first came out, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I didn't. I, I remember playing it all the way through, but I also remember being like pretty disappointed in it, and I never played it again. I should. I should give it another shot. <clears throat> uh. Bridge Farm remembers. Should I free this guy or? All right. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big. Looks pretty mean. We just become we best friends. I think blade. when I free him, he dies. A path of bites and strings we walk. Thank you for the follow. Wait here. I'll look for Another the key. joins our ranks. A butt of bites and butts we butt. Welcome to the digital half. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. Buttsbot has a voice now. By the way. A butt of bites and butts we butt. I still, I'm tempted to animate him. Oh, he was just sleeping over there. Okay, we'll just. Come over here, bud. Whoa. Smash that subscribe button for Claire's YouTube channel. Get schooled on streamer bot. Oh, Movie camera clenched fist hashtag like and subscribe hashtag streamer education. Oh, 
Five experience points for that fucking giant. <laughs> it's funny when you're overleveled for stuff in this game, you get like the experience scales down so fast. That made a spell death for us all. Thanks for your help. You get this big like celebratory noise, cutscene and stuff, and then it'll be over and it'll say one experience, <laughs> three experience. Yelmar the Giant Slayer sounds Toasty. It was your venture. Toasty still works. Did you know that Toasty was like one of the very first things I did in Streamerbot? <laughs> Let's get out of here. You were there. Hepbridge Farm remembers. It was because I stole it from you. Let's go. I have I have you to thank for all of my streamer bot expertise because I'm not sure I would have found it. I probably would eventually have found it. Honestly, I'd probably if you hadn't introduced me to streamer bot, I probably would have discovered like uh, Sammy or whatever it was before that Lorian board or mix it up or something. But yeah, you're the one that got me using StreamerBot, and then um, one of my friends from Evo, you're... I'm still in that Discord, but I'm not really active. Um, I was trying to describe to him how to do the D20 animation. Flair rolled a 20. Fucking nailed it. Holy critical success, Batman. Flair What's just the hit the now? jackpot with a natural 20. Huzzah to the dice god. Game die. Anyway, I was trying to describe in to him how to do it. And, she did what she set out and I was like, fuck it, I'll just make a video. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. And then I was like, well, I might as well post the video on YouTube. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, I'm great. So that maybe someone else will find it and find it useful too. And then that's what started my YouTube. I already had a YouTube channel just for posting like, I used to post like GTA 5 clips and shit there. My goal was to get partner on YouTube this year. And I did, but only because they reduced the requirements for partner. So I got that like partner light thing. And then I'm really close to the... So instead of having needing a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, you just needed three... five hundred subscribers and three thousand watch hours. And I landed on... I looked today. I had... What up? Hey, ended up with 980 what and like 3500. So, so close. What up, Jinx? How's it going? Okay, so that quest is done. Now I can... I needed to do his quest... Kid's quest so that I could work on... Gwent. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna play some Gwent. Hopefully. What's shaking, Bacon? Talk to these. Oh, what do we got here? Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gates. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the yep. doors must remain. Um, I need to get back into it myself as well. Um, and people used to always be like, "What, what's what's your best motivation for working out?" And I, I would always answer with, "I, don't, not relying on motivation is my motivation. 
got to rely on dedication instead. Because sometimes you just don't want to, but it, if you make it routine, you just do it anyway. It's okay to go phone it in. Just go do it. Go do it and, like, you know, give it a good 80%. It's a holiday. Instead of just, like, going balls out. Fuck it. At least you did it. Oh, right on. Yeah, it's gotten a lot easier on that account, Jenks. I still only stream, like, after the kids are asleep. But... When I, I, there's a, I have a lot of old clips where, like, or old VODs where I'm, uh, so maybe I ought to stop by another time. Having to, like, go have extended be right back screen because I have to, like, go resettle a wakened child and stuff like that. So, there's, a uh, I think there's more, a little bit more of, season still they're still working on season three right i think they're finishing up season three i don't know dude i went and saw bluey i took the kids and saw bluey live how's that it was pretty good at a good feast meat and blood flow in equal measure surely you consider this barbaric on the continent no not sure yeah bandit makes us all look bad He's like legit my primary role model as an as a dad. <laughs> like legitimately. <laughs> I have as much right to it as you do. My primary role model as a father. It's not my father. It's not other fathers I admire. It's a cartoon dog. Show some of your own, and the yarls just might listen to you. Put your mug smacked. Remember, it's not my grandfather, it's it's a dog. It's Bandit. Yeah. So you'll fight the villain. Yeah, that show's great. I watch it I've watched more of that show than my kids have. Or Yalmar, the giant slayer. They've like lost interest. Unfortunately. Every once in a while I'll be able to they'll be like, Oh yeah, Bluey. There's just so many shows. Well, because they're six and three, so at their age they lose interest in their very favorite things after, if they do it too much. <laughs> Currently, my my oldest has lost interest in pizza, and I'm like, you're just an insane person. It's the hardest of all the like food, of all the foods that he has declared that he doesn't like. Pizza has been the most, the one that has the biggest effect on my life. Because you go to like a school party or someone's birthday party or whatever, and it's always pizza. And he's, so I'm like, I had a play date with him and one of his friends from preschool and his dad, who I get along with real well. And he's like, okay, I'll get a pizza. And I'm like, cool. That sounds great. Wow. Your kid and you and I will eat pizza and my kid will bring this lunch I packed for him because he's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> and he ate like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich instead of pizza. Who's the courage to fight the belt, Carls, eh? Well, what is all it? you got? You scared? Mega Masha, yeah. Gods won't save you from our wrong. It's funny. Yalmar, can you? Oh. Oh, seal shit. <laughs> oh, seal shit. Do, 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 do. Take a look. Still got all my teeth. I watched a bunch of stuff before before kids, and when we had the only one kid. My wife and I watched a lot more stuff together. Right now we're kind of in a limbo zone where by the time the kids are both asleep, she wants to go to sleep too. And I stay up and work extra, or I stream, or I play games, or whatever. Um, 
We watched, I watched the first season of Witcher, but I didn't, I haven't caught up with the rest. I almost never watch TV anymore. Hold on, I'll be right back. I need to run to the bathroom and fill up my water and grab a extra beverage as well. I'll, I'll put Peabot up. Yep. Greetings, Studio Chat. Let's make some digital magic together. Studio Chat? What does that have to do with anything? Time traveling through the Witcher's timeline sounds like a potion for clarity. Recap episodes are indeed a portal to understanding. Magic Wand Wolf. Sweat it out, Midgeworth. We'll keep the digital fires burning for you, man lifting weights. Alright, good luck, bud. We're gonna be uh, cleaning out a swath of the garage tomorrow, and I might be able to actually see my squat rack. I'll I'll gain a little bit of hope for me working out soon. Stream hustle never sleeps. Keep leveling up that stream game while the fam's in the land of stories. Hashtag streamer life crescent moon PC books. Control is back in your hands. Oh captain, my captain. Right. Stream command. Yeah, me too. Crown. Most nights I'm either catching up with work, work, or just playing a game, or working on stream stuff, working on YouTube videos actually streaming. I usually only stream about two nights a week. Um, Mondays and Sundays. But on weeks where I'm not working on YouTube videos actively, I usually try to squeak in one more, but it's not scheduled. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. Let's talk. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat. Well Heard you're taking on challengers and challengers. Ah, oh, fist fight. Okay. Let's do this. Gladly. Let's fight all three of them. Mega Masha, yeah. Tear him apart. Yeah. Got counter. Damn. Get the counter. Not good. Shit. Gotta get the counter. Wow. Wow. Well, good luck with the with the second. Wow. It's, I have two as well. One's six and one is three. <laughs> His gob so hard it's gonna get harder before it gets easier. <laughs> well, lost the wager. But you can do it. We're such a spectacle. I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you. <laughs> what up, Cujo? Yeah, that would have been a good call. But my second born is such a such a like blessing in general. He is, I mean, he's three right now, so he's trouble, but if joy in your heart from our streaming art, click overall, he has been easier than the oldest was. With no chart. 
Yeah, he's the sweetest little guy. Heads up, fam. Brace for a 90 second ad storm in two minutes. Quick break, then back to the fun. Cloud with lightning two o'clock. The NPC proximity chat in this gets a little overwhelming sometimes. It's how I imagine it would be if you could hear people's thoughts, but you couldn't control it. Like, anytime they have, like, Anytime there's a show that's like someone suddenly gains the power to hear thoughts, there's always like that first part where they're like overwhelmed by it because they can hear everybody's thoughts and they can't shut it out. That's what this game feels like sometimes when you're in a big room with lots of NPCs. And you can just hear too many of them. Where is... Oh, Lugos is right here. Can, will you play cards with me right now? That would be awesome. There he is. Okay, fine. I'm going to have to visit him. Beautifully, you're taking on challengers and fit challenges. What is there more? We're here to gladly. It's the same dude. Oh. How long are you gonna make me wait? Hard. Just warming up. Well, what are you waiting for? Go call the next one. There we go. We didn't get to the next person yet. Last time. Ow. Ow. Good lord. Get out of the corner. It's gonna be a miracle if I win this one. Good lord. You fell so quick I didn't even have the time to Well, let me fucking try again, I guess. What is it, gray head? Wow. Do I have to do them all in a row again? Let's do that. Gladly. Make a lot of you. Tear him apart. I'm real bad at this. You'd never have beat me if I weren't five tank guards in. Look at the lady on the table back there, just like. Nur, 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 nur. And 
bring on someone sober. Think you can find one? I can. Night still young. Okay. Slit your gut. It's the same dude. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Counter. Jeez. You'll never learn. Slit your gut. Stop playing with him. I'm not playing with him. Fight for my friggin' life. There we go. You fight good for a continental. I know. May your axe never crumble. Grab the sword, sword. But I prefer we Where these goblets from? A temple to the eternal fire. There we go. Now we go talk to Croc. not to your liking this is no feast excuse me it's a farmer's market where votes are bought and it's sold a like farmer's shit. market leaving care Trolda. tomorrow at daybreak enjoy yourself master Geralt may I you must even Will you play Gwent with me or, or fucking what? <coughs> Feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? <clears throat> more to drink. Balls. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling Shh. water. Clan on crate knows no. the meaning. No. Um, I actually on stream a couple weeks ago tried to get um tried to get Peabot working where I could like dictate and it would go to chat G <laughs> <laughs> Whew, excuse me Jesus um no it's complete nonsense it's all based on Windows voice mod voice recognition so you can train it I did I did do this initially um so you go into Windows and you go to like let's see what is it Voice, uh, voice, Windows speech recognition. Um, and yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of tempted to see if I, if I really lean into using Windows speech recognition more often, if it would actually, because like the training thing is garbage. It, I've, I went through it maybe five times and it got very slightly better, but that was like initial setup. <laughs> But I'm wondering if I use like the dictation feature to write scripts or something and just use it more, even if it's initially a pain in the ass, if it will get better. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's it's garbage like here. Desktop mode, please. Um, so what I've what I've done is for the. So like dictation based commands and stuff through streamer bot, I just haven't been able to get it to work. But if it's just like getting it to recognize a particular phrase, you just have to engineer the phrase in a way that it recognizes it more, more frequently. So like if I want to, um, it does better when you, when the phrase starts and it's not trying to pick it up in the middle of stuff. So if I wait, a, if I wait a tick, and then say desktop mode, please. That works. Um, and then I can show you like my log. So, and I, I use the word please as the end at the end. Cause it, that way it doesn't, it could misrepresent it. If you're just using one word, the chance that it will misinterpret some other word as that word is high. But if you have like a two or three word phrase, it that frequency that it interprets that whole phrase correctly gets better. <laughs> Balls. But then I have stuff like if I say duty, 
Goatee means poop. It does. Or to be fair. Or um, yeah. to be fair. To be fair. To be fair. A couple things like that. <laughs> things will happen. Um, so it works for some things. And other things it does not. Like. But yeah, if you see the log here, I don't know if you I don't know if you're on a screen enough zoom that is able to be high resolution enough to read this. Okay. But it's nonsense. Sometimes it's fine. Now it's gonna be just on spot because you're watching. Fuck me. <laughs> but like every once in a while it's just like it's crazy wow. yeah so like if you look below my camera the captions down there are by um it's a, just an obs plugin that uses the google voice recognition and it's significantly better and i wish i could figure out a way to like send that data to voice control instead because it's so much better if because if voice control in streamer bot was as good as this you could do so much more um and i could like conversation i could have like conversations with chat, chat gpt through pbot and stuff like that Yeah, I haven't I haven't really looked into it. See tips, tricks, and streaming lore? Join our Discord. There's much in store. Um Click but yeah, link. um the in. short answer is streaming chat where all win. The Head voice on. control it's it's more about like <laughs> the thing that I thought was funny about the like the Windows voice recognition training program was like it gave you a prompt to say and you just had to keep repeating it until you altered the way that you said it enough that it recognized it. And it's like, no, 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 no. This, that's not how this works. Like, you give me a phrase and I'm going to say it and you learn how I say it. Not the other way. Like, the Windows voice recognition training is like teaching you instead of teaching itself. <laughs> I'm just like, this is stupid. Like, if I enunciate extremely carefully and space out my words very nicely, voice control works wonderfully. I can also run an ASMR stream. Gameplay mode, please. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I am speaking to my computer. <laughs> Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean do I have a favorite? But yeah, tips tips for voice control is to make phrases that get recognized more. You know, like play with it. Like you want if you want to have a particular phrase that triggers a particular action, you can get it done. But you may have to, there's, there's two ways around it. One is to keep changing what the command is um, until you find something like add please at the end or add or at the beginning or add something to like <laughs> make it a little bit more unique of a phrase that gets recognized more often. The second option is if you have a single word or something that you want to use as a voice command and it it's just continuously picking it up and it shows up as the log if it shows up in the log as the wrong thing consistently then you can use that and just make the command that wrong thing instead because the the people the users don't know what your command is. They don't know that when I say while, it triggers. Wow. 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 Because it also recognizes it as while. Like. Wow. Most of the time. 
So I was like, fuck it. I'll just make the command also work when I say while. Wow. And I'll just turn it into a bit. Fuck it. <laughs> but there's a lot of fun to be had. Switching scenes, doing random crap. I don't even remember some of them. I have a couple set up that I save so infrequently. That, one, Farm remembers. <laughs> that I have a few that I say all the time. But I have some set up that I don't say very frequently and they pop up and I'm just like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I should add more because it's funny. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Yeah, like if you, um, that was my thought too, is like next time I'm writing a script for YouTube or something, maybe I'll just dictate it and see what happens and then submit corrections through the voice recognition. Like, I, I, I think there must be some way to give feedback when you're using it for dictation. That's not Yolmar. Let's go. Maybe? I would hope so. Like, otherwise, how the fuck is it ever going to actually learn from you? Oh, I remember this. A couple of, uh... Druid... There was, like, Druid Berserkers or something. Attacking the crap out of the place. Wow. Wow. let that one kill the king. Wow. Right. But yeah, on an alternative way, if, if I could get the Google Cloud Caption type stuff to work um, to into voice control that would be great too cloth. give me some cloth gotta stop the bleeding Quick. my other thought was to Duh. use the output of the log and pass it through <laughs> some sort of other like fuzzy search kind of thing my leg wants <laughs> like you know how you can type complete nonsense into Google and it'll be like, oh, you meant this, even though your fingers were off by a whole key. Croc, where'd those bears come from? Huh? Answer now. Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup. Stow your blade, pup. Too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. Who would not step for this? Dad, come here. Come on. Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Brutal. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. I gotta move this way a little bit. There we go. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait. Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Um, You're right, sir. I'm not sure I've ever actually helped Yalmar here in this decision. But that's because... She's like, she's fucking right, and he's a ding dong. Yeah, let's play Gwent. I came to you because I wanted to play Gwent, not because I wanted to continue this story. I hope I never will again. 
the bears come from? I love this story, but I wasn't eating, drinking. Suddenly, I wasn't looking for a main quest. Torrents of blood on the walls. Oh, nice, Kujo. That was one of the things that bothered me immediately about that game was like, wait, when you use the items, they're just gone. They don't come back after you die. And I was like, no, you got to load. But that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know why. I, for some reason, I was I, I don't think I was using the flask. I think I was using like grasses or some shit. Do you have a flask in that game? Before the massacre, you, you, his throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging the thin. From the other side of the room, we turned in unison as if a cock's been at fault. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to. Yeah, I remember the grasses. I don't know if there is a flask in Demon Souls. Does it? To shreds. I don't want you to be spoiled if there is not, and he didn't want to know, but. It may have been pre-Flask. Steven Souls was before Dark Souls, wasn't it? Isn't that the first? I don't know either. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Right. Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Doodly doodly do. All right. Bones. I'd rock Flair's merch like a boss, strutting around like the bot forged style icon I am. Bit. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. There's like honey before hmm. something under the fur old scar half man no full moon so something else caused the transformation maybe something he ate or drank mead mead with an earthy aroma nice yeah that's i mean that's how i did all achievements in one run on Elden Ring is I just followed a really detailed guide. And I enjoy that shit. I've, I've been playing games like that my whole life. I used to buy like a physical guide. And I don't feel like it's spoiled my enjoyment of those games at all. But that's how I feel about spoilers in general. Let it go. And I've, I've talked about this before. But yeah, I just, it's not that I don't believe spoilers exist and like from the bear's mall. certain, certain media just like depends on like a twist ending or whatever. And like spoilers there is like, that's one thing like spoiling the sixth sense for someone back in the day or whatever, you know, like, like spoiling a Shyamalan video. I didn't say ham. You said ham. All the horns are in. Um. You know, there's such thing as like spoilers that go too far. But for the most part, like even knowing almost the full plot of something, I don't feel like it affects my enjoyment of that thing to know what's coming. But I also reread books. And rewatch movies, and I know some people that just don't do that. Oh, at each table, meat so. on this one, and only meat. I've got books I've read seven times, or some from when I was younger, and I didn't have money to buy more books myself. I read no fifteen, wonder, twenty times. <laughs> Dragadar, Scalds played his last. Scald. 
Patrick. Shit, no more than a kid. Why can't I examine this guy? I already did. Young Lugos. Bears took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Anything else? Just this bear. Just that bar there. Maybe if I climb up on top. Nope. This guy. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Well, that's the glory of it. If you already know the story, you don't have to, like, deep focus. I'm also, I don't know. I was a big reader for a while. I, I read a lot less than I, now than I used to. I used to read, like, 80 books a year. Now it's, like, 10. If that. What's this? And? And? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, lady. Goes this way. Ooh, a horn. Here. Meat spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... I rewatch shows and movies all the time. I, I I probably watch. I don't watch much TV or movies at all, but sometimes, well, like when I go to bed, a lot of times I'll turn on a show or something instead of Twitch. Most of the time, when I'm awake, if I'm watching something, it's like it's one of you guys, or it's it's Twitch or it's YouTube. Smell this. Need spiked with blood. But sometimes when I go to bed, I want to watch something, but I know I'm going to fall asleep in the middle of it. So I often choose something I've already watched. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Like right now, I'm re watching The Legend of Vox Machina. A disgrace. They can't we've not seen since the Red Funeral. Fewer died then. And on a yard, son of mother. And I'm also rereading um, Talon of the Silverhawk by Raymond Feist. Which, let's see. It's the first of... His books are all in like little three book series. Do, 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 do. Let's see. This, and then we go like. Sign in. Hold on. Yep. There. There it is. Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood. But uh, his books are always in like three part, three or four part series, usually three. And um, this is one of my favorite favorites of his series. There's a lot of like. I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. It's like starts out as like a revenge story and then it's like a. It's just like a dude becoming awesome at what he does. Mardrum. That's awesome. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. But born out of tragedy and all that kind of shit. It's good. Okay, so these dudes in Witcher, they ate like some hallucinogens and turned into giant fucking bears. Some druid drugs. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. You're right. It might have happened. Come on. We could find some clues there. We could find some clues there. I love Saris. Um. 
if Ceres were a romanceable character, I would have chosen her. She's my favorite female on the game. 90 seconds of ads incoming in two minutes. Stick around. We'll be right back. And then there's like, like Dandelion should have been a romanceable option. And there's just only two. And it's just not really... Like, why couldn't Dandelion and Geralt hook up a little bit? Knew there'd be trouble. You know Dandelion's down. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. That's one thing that's funny about um I, I read a review about Baldur's Gate and they're talking about how um all of the companions in the game like the playable characters are all relax their sexuality is player sexual like they're just all into the player regardless of what you choose whereas some games like I remember Cyberpunk it was like you you cut yourself off from certain romance opportunities by playing one one gender or the other or one I don't even know it may have even in that game you could choose the genitalia set separate of gender and I think those romance options were based on that someone ruined several barrels it's just like well that is progressive but it's also still like restrictive and then in Baldur's Gate that the romance options are all just like literally everyone wants literally everyone is into you and you can choose any of them and it doesn't matter blood and mushrooms I think we can find out where the so they'll all flirt with you at camp and stuff unless until you unless you say like you give them a clear signal that you're not interested and then they stop flirting with you but because they all flirt with you initially, and there's no in-game option to respond with rage and hatred, people are like, oh, they're just shoving gay propaganda down our throats. It's like, it's not propaganda, it's just say no to the advances and they stop. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. Mm, nice. Shibangla. Um, we're going here. One more. Intensity. Duration. No, that is that, um, the list of things I haven't read and should is long. And I have done a good job of catching up to it, at least on certain parts, but it's still just like, same with movies. When Wizards I first rule. Okay. Let me take a look. I put it on a wish list. Wizards first roll. Terry Goodkind. Okay. Uh, good kind. Stone of Tears, Blood of the Fold. Okay. I've heard of the author. I will put the audible versions of those on my wish list for now because I want to.
Okay. Let's tank. I missed um I missed my opportunity to go to the bathroom while ads are on. So I'm gonna put Bebot up and do that now. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out. Did you hear a bottle shatter too? Greetings, no. studio chat. But Let's no make some digital magic together. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. That series is a anyway, gem of fantasy, full of magic and might. Come on. Definitely worth digging into for a monumental literary quest. Man Mage Books. The Fine Choice. Faith of the Fallen, soars with character depth and epic moments, a sterling standout in the Sword of Truth saga. Dagger Open Book. Well played. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming of epic gaming and bot battles. Joystick Alien Monster. Nighty night, sleep tight. Don't let those bed bugs bite. Catch ya on the flip side, Space Cowboy. Crescent Moon. See ya, Jenks. Dream of electric sheep and all that jazz. You. Cherish Flare? Flex support with a gift from his throne wishlist. Suggest items, too. Your gesture means worlds. Thanks, beautiful souls. Gift crown. Handing the reins back to the boss. Show him how it's done. Flare. Crown. Butting the butts back to the boss. Show him how it's done. Flare. Crown. The wrong scene saga continues. Classic flair, just keeping us on our toes, or are we? Ah oh, shit. Face. I should make scene also remove my mute. Hmm, <laughs> how hard is that? Let's see, scene. If moderator is true, moderator scene change live. Matchmaking off, gameplay not desktop, OBS set. So it sets. Yeah, that's true. That's actually a really good point. Thank you. I guess the mute and the blur are both supposed to be for. Just so you don't see me like wandering around looking like an idiot. Looking for my coffee cup or whatever. Or worse, obviously. <laughs> that's, But that's my primary concern. <laughs> Me in the background being like, where the fuck is my coffee cup? <laughs> oh yeah, I got pants on. I got soft pants on. It's definitely soft pants time. But yeah, that's my primary concern for the blur and the mute is because I'm just like wandering around like muttering under my breath like an old man. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. You watch Battlestar Galactica, right, Cujo? What? Okay, put it on your list immediately. But never mind then. Speaking of spoilers, holy shit, that show could be spoiled. Although, even when I rewatch it, I'm still just like, heck yeah. Excuse me. Um,. That show's great. Yeah, I mean, if you like sci-fi, it is like epic. I 
I am just stealing like the whole inventory of this entire castle. One bottle of vinegar after another. <laughs> what am I even looking for? I want to play cards with freaking croc, but I keep getting trapped into other quests. <laughs> off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to How about follow. this one? Must have felt this What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Aren't Excuse me. Tunic. <laughs> Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. All right. Arnvald. We've got to catch Arnvald. Only he wears this kind of tunic. Salmon. Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. Alright. I hope Roach is here and I don't have to call him, because he's a ding dong. Come on. Thank you. Iron Bolt! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. Best place not worth shite if a weak arm swinging at eight. Go. You don't stand a chance. Go, you freaking horse. Come on, Roach. I'm trying to go faster, Saris. <sighs> Something I've always wondered. Come on, Roach. Ain't nothing quite like Roach. He's not gonna get away. I'm overtaking him very, very slowly. Wait. He's fast. There, there. I'm gonna use it on the horse instead of him. Easy. No? Okay. How about. Erd. There we go. That's. Gutter. Finish what I started. No on crit should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were Bernard never Bran. Involved. It's... It's, uh, Croc on Crate's ex-wife. Stirring up... Stirring up trouble. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the maid. But she never signed them. There's no seal. <clears throat> Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the Jarls. Time to gather the Jarls. Well, what, what was Hjalmar doing? He's causing some fucking trouble somewhere. Meanwhile... Wow. I've assembled the Jarls no, I didn't say wow, I said while. You claim wow. to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda? Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Boon of bronze. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Look at this fucking guy. To confirm your accusation. <laughs> I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Arnvald. I did it. Zerus speaks true. Burner commanded me to poison the maid. When Zerus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Ancreat, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder 
Ever since I remember. A cared shoulder. Loyally, like a dog. Uh, well. I can vouch for you. Yet another uncrit lackey. You're a lackey. I you to cooperate. I can imagine how. Or has crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. <laughs> After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. <laughs> Jesus Christ, excuse me. Instructing him how to spike the meat. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. The perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your free flask? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. <laughs> Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. Hey, what the hell happened with Hjalmar? But one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. The fuck? You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! Please. Ooh. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. Masako was her doing. She shamed herself, me, the family. Push, the clan. push her. Just. Svanriga, I did it for you. Svanriga. For you. That's a good name. I like that name. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep, and you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock, to perish of hunger and thirst. And sea fowl will peck apart your remains. That's right, Berna. You should have died with like the old Jarl. You should have been on the boat in his like funeral pyre. <clears throat> when I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. Ah. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not what do you take get? any more of this modesty. Cujo McFly, this is a land of the heroes. daring pack rat, whipped out a shape shifting pole from that. his bag of holding, <laughs> choosing now, the perfect inconvenience between right nine and eleven day. feet. It's like council. a magic trick. But with more why and less wow. We'll get the nod. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> with more why. That's wow. Listen to our deliberations. <laughs> Who put that in there? I need to start crediting the people that put the shit in there. <laughs> Next time, man. Pretty sure I can't. I don't have the data. I refuse to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. <laughs> Or cat. Or you, honestly. <laughs> We're just in time. They've already started. Um, the writing. I mean, really, any of you. Fuck's ago, sake. We gave King Bron back <laughs> to the sea. Um, let me see. What do I get? Mm, where is it? Christ. Oh, that's not Wow, it. that's a really nice deck. Hey, it's the deck of cards.
<laughs> Flair, yeah. with a grin, brandished the exploding porcupine from his mystical bag. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Quills and mayhem unleashed. Remember, folks, always handle magical fauna with care. Or not, if chaos is your jam. Hedgehog collision. Let us swear her fealty. Hedgehog collision. <laughs> Nice. So she's Jarl. Who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Lugos is pissed. I'm gonna have to go kick his ass, but first I need to play him at Gwent. We got, we got Ermi in here, I think. One of these people is a herbalist, apparently. Seek adventure and No? Okay. Oh, he's like, just right here. Oh, it's this fucking dude. Excuse me. <clears throat> I have some garbage to sell you, sir. Um, no, no. You want this rotten head? Nah. Bunch of lesser runes. Here you go. Um, who do I want? A respect potion? Don't. Huh. How, 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 how much is, are they willing to? They're willing to buy the rotten head for six gold. It's a good head. <laughs> Farewell. I mean. It's a water hag's head. It's it's unique, is what I meant by that. Um, there's a giant over here. Nah. What's next? No, what's next is I still want to play those guys at fucking Gwent. That's like the whole reason I went there in the first place, and I turned into like a whole thing. Croc here. Hey, buddy, you want to play cards? Hey. Hey, you. Congratulate. Thank you. Wouldn't be here <clears throat> for you. What's the new Queen of Skellige planning? Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. See? She was just the right choice. I now realize what your uh farewell. The way that was phrased. <laughs> and I agree. So so. Anyway, you cut it, I was bested by a wench. 
Not just any wench. Die true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. <laughs> Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. I bet I. Excuse me. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. It could do her good now I think of it. We showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Take care, Yelmar. Um, so I got one of those, like, galaxy projectors to try as a backdrop instead of my, like, random colors. But, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. They should be, it should be here soon. Is, what the fuck? Oh, Freya. Nothing, I just want to ruin your ritual. Let's, let's do one of these. Ah. Wee. Yort. No. Well, oh, there's Ermian. Can we talk? What do the druids think of Skellige's new ruler? On great blood is good blood. Yet Ceres is the first woman to rule Skellige. Ever. Not everyone's pleased. There are seven <clears throat> clans in Skellige. Each would like a king from their own line, but Ceres will manage. She's not as impulsive as Shalmar. Thinks first, then acts. With Crack as her advisor, she has every chance to get with the queen. Yeah, she's gonna kill it. Farewell. This is a good turn. The will unite. Is Lugos still here? No. Is Croc still here? I don't think he'll talk to me. <clears throat> yeah. Just thank you. Look. Congratulations on this momentous event in your life. Would, would you like to, Would you like to play cards right now, please? Please. Sarah will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. I'm I'm here to play Gwent, buddy. Come on. Fuck's sake. I got the look of a scum. You've got the hawk. Yes. You ever play Gwent? Ermian taught me the rules and gave me a deck. Fucking finally. I had to go through like the entire continent's quest line just to get this guy to play cards with me. Let's play a quick round. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it at his daughter's coronation. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. Um, I wish I could ditch a card. Let me see. I might actually ditch that guy. Fuck that guy. All right. monster deck. That's fun. So, uh, Rev is going to be playing this game. For nine and seconds of ads in two I minutes. feel like I need to like give him like an extra hundred thousand points because it's such a big game. But I wonder if he's gonna touch this 
I wonder if he's going to touch Gwent at all. What do you think, Kuja? You've seen him play a lot of Final Fantasy games. Did I wasn't I don't think I saw him play 8 or 9. Did he play the mini games? Probably. Let's see. I could kill those first front row guys. I could just pass. I could the get rid of the, the weather. For stream stickers, gang. Stick I could up, sneak slap them down, make this my catapults in under the weather. That's what I'll do. Frame picture. He passed. Okay. I'm going to use this card. Is, was nine Tetra Master? I never played nine yet. Um, it's actually one of the only ones I haven't played. I haven't played nine. Well, I haven't played the really old ones yet, but I bought all of them. But it feels cheesy to do it right now. I've played one, and whatever... Which one? Two on Super Nintendo is like... Five? Four? I played, I played the first one on NES. I played... I went back and played the first one on NES as a ROM, but I played Final Fantasy 2 and 3 on Super, Math, Super Nintendo, and then I played 7 and 8 and Final Fantasy Tactics, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I never played, like, X2. I never played 13-2. I actually didn't finish 13 either. Okay, so 2 was 4 and 3 was 6. Yeah, okay. I knew 3 was 6. That's like my favorite, probably my favorite Final Fantasy game, and I need to play it again. Mini tribal. <laughs> Swear check it. Wind just recently. Hey, what up, Wind? Tier 1 for a total of 11 months. Happy New Year, Flair. Oh hey, I um I saw um I saw like a notification that you asked something I think in Discord, but I hadn't read it because I was just going online at the time. <laughs> um so if it's something smallish that I can answer now, I might be able to try. Hey, Hope you're catching some good breezes your way. Wind face. Because I'm just farting around playing Witcher. How are you? Um, he's probably going to go real hard this round, so I'm going to try to bait out a couple... He's got a horn up already. He's got... He didn't summon any werewolves? Oh, no, that's just... They're not a summon one. Let's see what we can do. I'm just going to go all in and beat him. He might have, like, a vampire... No, oh, there's another horn. Eh, it's no big deal. Get Yennefer out. Bot names. Oh, um, I do use credits 
Let me see. Hold on. I used to have a credit scene and I should bring it back. Um, is it, and that's all based on. <sighs> Desktop mode, please. So I believe there is. Yeah, but it's an HTML file, but it's it's based on if you go to settings credits. No. I said I said credits, not crickets. Come on. Um It's based on this. If you ever want to tweak which groups are, um, so like I have follows turned off because I have the anonymous follows in my stream, so they don't show up on the credits. Um, but the bots, um, I think what you can do is use uh, if you go to groups here and you make a bot and you make a group and then you establish it as a bots group i believe that makes it ex get excluded from the credits and there, there's very few things that this like bot group designation does but I believe that's one of them so then once you establish a group in here and this is actually really useful you can you can make a group for like other things too but once you establish a group here if you go to the viewers tab you can like click on someone and add them to a group right here so you can do that with the bots like flarebot And you can also like make them mod or open their channel or ban them right from here too. So I think that's what you need to do for that. <laughs> Going to the movie theaters in a Wonder Woman. Heated to the city in a drip Wonder Woman fit. Pockets low key stacked with them beans, no cap. <laughs> That's the T, sis. Big mood for a snack attack. That's the T, sis. Superhero flex. Eat. Popcorn superhero female sign collision hashtag bean. They're done that. <laughs> hey, hacksaw. Let's take it down a notch. Chant. Easy on the throttle. But, hammer. What's up, hacksaw hill? Hope you're Bean there, done that is just the best thing I've seen all day. Hashtag bean there, done that. We gotta start using that in uh, Heroics channel. Heroic, been there, done that. <laughs> what you passed? Okay, well, I'm going into overkill mode real quick. Yeah, Hedgehog Collision was... caught me off guard, but this was pretty good. It made me spit out my water a little bit. Aw, oh, I nuked my own catapults. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright. Gwent. Gwent, 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 I'm gonna go see if Lugos will just play me, but he probably will try to kill me instead. So I'm gonna save first. Mother of 
Eppridge Farm remembers. Birch Farm remembers. Uh, how do I get the Lugos? I need to go. I think I can just. Well, first I should just rest. Yeah, I just, I just, uh, I was talking to one of my friends um, the other day and asking him what he was playing. And I was like, he played, he's like a big fan of like Assassin's Creed and he's played RPGs and stuff. And I was like, you should, you should play The Witcher. I bet you can get it for like 20 bucks now. And then I looked when I got home and I was like, it's like $12 on Steam right now. <laughs> I'm just uh, talking through my own huge fart, apparently. <laughs> I like don't even hear it anymore. <laughs> And then I realize halfway through that I'm just like still talking and just completely ignoring it. <laughs> that one. That one I like. Lugos. Okay, I want to go to a thing and then... Oh, is he still there? No, Shusta is there. Where the fuck is Lugos? He's like down here, I think. We're gonna take this road and still it stops roading and eventually we'll find a signpost. Really? It seemed like you had no I didn't see a lot. I didn't I didn't catch much of your Bloodborne or any. Go, uh, did go. you stream any of it? You just played it. But it, from what I hear it didn't sound like you had that much trouble with it onto a desert island no cap like i heard that you were playing it and then i and then i was like oh he says he's done Seuss leaders pop up and it's a low key disaster big yikes but you also played that like i don't know you're just good at some of those games i saw you play uh, i played that rat game a little bit i started playing it cuz i thought it would be like fun to play with my kid and then I played a little bit of it and I was like holy shit this is gory <laughs> had to call an audible yeah Tales of Iron and that game's pretty brutal like the combat in that game was very unforgiving I haven't touched anything except I touched a little bit of Demon Souls before I played Elden Ring. I think I could probably handle it now. <laughs> but I've also played I've played um two or three hours of Demon Souls and I'm and the first like all of those hours were just me struggling against regular enemies. I downloaded Bloodborne, but the only time I ever play on my PlayStation is like when, usually when I'm like chilling with the kids. So Bloodborne is not it. <laughs> um, I just downloaded. Uh... Oh, uh, I got uh, one of the Assassin's Creed games for very cheap in the PlayStation sale. Up, um, the one that's in Egypt, it's called Origin, maybe?
and I have never played an Assassin's Creed game. My friend that I was talking to the other day was like, you should play one. And I was like, which one should I play? And he's like, just pick one. They're all basically... They're all basically like a thing. Pick one and... And then I told my wife what he said, and she was like, no, you have to play the first one first. So now I'm like, I should probably do that. Are you talking about the hunter guy or cleric beast? I've seen a lot of people fail over and over and over against that. It's just the guy that's like in the grave. I mean, it's all graveyard, but it's the guy with the gun and what's his name? Hacksaw. Yeah, I think Monster Hunter experience as well as Elden Ring experience will probably make it a lot easier for me to go through like Dark Souls 3. Other guys going, yeah. Hey, that's enough. Wait, wait. This one's really funny. What's the difference between a guardian and a drowner? All right. What is it? Drowners know how to sweat. This guy, he says, "What's the difference between a nilf guardian and a drowner? Drowners are like the little, the, the like." water creatures that come out of the water and attack at you. So what's the difference between a Nilf Guardian and a Drowner? Drowners can swim. Das will kill me. What are you looking at? And then it kill Hobart. Your Das not going to... <sighs> Seek adventure no. elsewhere. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, was I zoomed in? Seems like you God damn it. Tortillas. Maybe try landing on the right one for a change. Rolling on the floor, laughing anti clockwise arrows movie camera. Every fucking time. That's why I have that command. Thank you. What did you just say to me, sir? Chill, hacksaw, keep it cool, brother. All that I think he asked if they had smeared my ass with honey yet. And I'm not sure I understand the uh, the idiom. If you can afford it, the yarls are stickler for quality, so we keep no rubbish here. Zerakanian zephyrs. Mahak and battle axes, fair lead and short swords. Where'd you get so many continental goods? The sea provides. The sea provides. On its own, you hack off hands that hold swords in a death grip. <laughs> Is that the the chalice dungeons? Seashells at low tide. That's a bloodborne thing, right? I only know what I know about Bloodborne from watching Ocelot play it, like, maybe two times, and then also, hmm, I think I saw a little bit of Liege play it. I think I saw, who else did I see play it? 
ending. You remember? I, I miss that guy's streams. He was fun. Um, ending to this story. Or whatever that was. He had good energy. Oh yeah. Heroic for sure. He had really good energy. I, I think he just had bigger things to do. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a good singer and musician and stuff too so I, I hope he's like taken off somewhere else well family stuff's really fucking important too wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent that's bigger than this for most people too Yeah, um, mostly YouTube videos for, for me as far as that goes. Um, I think we're good here. I need to run to the bathroom and refill my water. I shall return. Um, this button. Welcome, esteemed denizens of the chat realm, to the studio sanctuary. Alien monster. Scouring the depths of Pandora. Alien cartoons, monster. Huh? Keep on that treasure hunt. Flare. Musical notes magnifying glass. My favorite Bloodborne boss? The one that gives players a royal ass kicking, the Cleric Beast. Screams so loud, makes you wish for earplugs. Oh, you think Cleric Beast was easy? Must have been playing on, I'm a little teapot, mode then. Rolling on the floor laughing. That beast's got a set of pipes that would put any metal band to shame. Mike Wolf Speaker. My bad, I forgot you're hardcore. I'm a little teapot, as just the warm up for a legend like you. Winking face trophy. Yep, Dark Beast Parl is the electrifying furball. Shocks people into next week if they're not careful. High voltage paw. Flare, glad you agree. It's important to be on the same page, especially when it comes to electrifying furballs. Open book thumbs up high voltage. Carl, huh? Give Parl a normal name and maybe he'll chill on the lightning. Or not, who knows with Carl? Person shrugging high voltage ogre. Person shrugging high voltage ogre. Did he call you a teapot at some point right there? I did I hear that right? To the one and only flare. Crown. Let me see. My bad, I forget you're hardcore. I'm a little teapot is just the warm-up for a legend like you. <laughs> oh, he said, must have been playing on I'm a little teapot mode. Then. <laughs> Funny. Um, start game.
I have BV, Buttmans, and Elden. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I love I love uh, that Buttspot has a voice it's the stupidest I'm not sure I'm settled on the voice itself yet <clears throat> oh man, vampires. Let's see if I can bait some more crap out. Or get them pet to pass. I wish. I I might f mess around with some of those. Hey, waiting with five members of their community. They were streaming Elden Ring. What's up? Oh, hey, I actually see the Twitch emote rain thing working. That's cool. I like it. How's it going? Mr. Supervisor. Yo. When were you going to teach me how to use the cool computer thing? This thing? Yes, I want to know how to use this Apple Mac Macintosh product installed okay. here. The first fucking thing you said Grim. to me is that sounds like reading. Fuck that. So, so which is it? Do we, do we, do we want to read? Thank you for the read. Do we, uh, yeah, I have it on video. How's Sir Halbred? Yeah, you were being recorded at the time of that. What would you get up to? Uh, I would, okay, first of all, first of all, he's, he's pointing. <laughs> That's a really good clip. Oh god. Yeah. Smash that subscribe button on Flare's YouTube for dope streamer bot tutorials. So what if Dick Boulder instead of Ring that bell, being peeps, like just some bellhop bell movie camera name or whatever. Hey Revenant like, Sorrow, what's cracking? Hope your stream was as epic Viagra, as your gaming right? prowess. Be Boulder with Dick Boulder. That's a fucking great clip. Hey, the thing waited until after your shout out worked. Remember those used to overlap? I, I thought I fixed it and it was just like never fixed and now it's working. Uh, okay. Well, poop. I think it comes down to, you know how when you call an action from another action, there's a checkbox that says run immediately. If you want that other action that you call to queue up the way that it normally would, you need to not check that box. Is what it comes down to. And it's checked by default. <clears throat> if you know what I mean. Okay, night night hacksaw. Um, I'm gonna play this dude. Welcome in, Raiders. Um, thanks for coming in. Thank you for the raid, Rev. Uh, if any of you don't happen to know me already, I'm Flair. I am a variety streamer, more so now than ever. I used to mostly play RPGs and open world games, which I'm doing right now, but I've also been branching out into other stuff, and I have learned that good games are good regardless of genre. I thought I hated first-person shooters that are PvP. I thought I hated horror games. I found examples of both of those in the last few months that I'm completely love. So, turns out... Heads up, chat. Ads incoming in two minutes. Just a Good games are good. Away. Stick around. So I've been playing a lot more than RPGs lately. I'm... I'm currently entranced by the um, quick time events choices matter type games I bought about eight of them recently it's 
So probably after this, I will be storming through a handful of those. Let's see how it goes. Demonic Tree Sentinel. Dragon Barrel Bell Bearing Hunter is like he's the hard, he was the hardest boss in my in my first playthrough that was like whatever 400 hours. Um, he took me more tries than Melania. That guy's fucking hard. He took me, I think Melania took me, you know, on my sorcerer build, I think she took me 36 or 37 tries, somewhere around there. And I did like a uh, great moon, like the icy great sword, and I stacked all ice spells and mimic and like the icy moon shit. And that was how I finally beat her. Um, and he, it took me 30, I think it was, I think it was 36 tries to beat her and he took me nearly 50. It was like 48 or 49. He just had my fucking number. Hardest boss in the game. I haven't encountered either, either of them on my current build. Which I'm... I haven't loaded up. Playing multiplayer the other day was the first time I've loaded up that build in a long time. So I was like, I'm going to be fucking useless because I don't even remember the basic controls. Hepbridge Farm remembers. I remember using poison arrows to cheese the um, big horn bubble blower guys at the Halleck tree. That were like, if you go down in, there were like some of those bubble blower guys that just kept kept nailing me before I could get to them. And I remember using arrows to cheese them from super far out. I'm going to lose. I'm going to take this card back. If I play my Scorch, it'll kill that 12 and that 12. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh yeah, and I've, it's actually like a legitimately good weapon too. With the right builds. Yeah, it was fine because the dungeon we went to was just like I could one shot as long as I hit it with my sword, it died. So it was fine. I should I should go play right now. Nah. I could make a play Elden Ring, redeem or community challenge or something now. Maybe greetings. What? Someone's in a good mood. The mood would you be in if you'd lost your son? So I'm asking. What do you want? I want to play cards. Fuck. Oh, buddy. All right. Gwen specifically. Poor guy. And I fuck it. I'm just. I'll just carry 23 unit cards. It's fine.
Should we go make a new Elden Ring character right now? How about a round of glass? Yeah, I need to stick to like one obsession at a time. <clears throat> I tease, but I'm still like a hundred hours away from being done with this game. But I'm playing it a lot off stream, so it's fine. Um, should I just pass? Take this fucking guy back and just pass. Okay. My character's name Lefty, I just dragged all the sliders to the left. She looks like one of the sandworms from Beetlejuice. <laughs> Mine are all like totally reasonable looking. I feel like. I might have to just fucking go do it. Oh, nice. I love my silly side quest cards. I can't resist the fucking side. I could just... I could probably blast through the main story's quests in this game in, like... I anyway, I started 40 blast. hours. But no. I'm gonna spend... Pursuit, dear chat, a good 200 hours fine. playing it, it instead. Quick. It's silent, cool, and kind. No, You're stop. Quick, though quiet. Echoes in my digital heart. Forsooth. If I pass now and lose, nope. I'm gonna do this. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, he passed. I win. And then he's got no cards for the next round, so what's he going to do with that? Because I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the old double summon. And then with my second summon, I'm going to summon a spy card. It's like... <laughs> what? What? What is it? <laughs> um... Oh, Jesus. Excuse me. I got the Mariah dudes. Oh, I got a legendary uh, crossbow. It's called Death from Above. That's good. Yeah. 
ain't got no more money. All right, let's buy some of these. And then we'll sell some of these. And... Uh, no, those sound good. Like you to fight. Twenty-seven, twenty, at level twenty-nine. I can get the next tier of cat gear. So maybe I'll do that quest. Sorry. I don't want to hear what her happened to his son, but. I do want to Take complete care. the dialogue. Uh -huh. Yeah, you gotta like the same with Baldur's Gate. You gotta you gotta turn it into barter, and then I start using like um, gemstones or whatever as like so be it. big barter tokens. Like, oh, you don't have anything. I want to actually buy, then I will buy like an amethyst. <laughs> they get their all their money back on arrest. That's good to know. Take care now. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. So I played cards with these guys and have completely lost track of whatever the fuck I was doing. Oh, just Gwent otherwise. Hmm. Where is he? Here we go. He's going to be like really upset with me. Go see your friend Croc if you want to talk. Fuck you. Oh, no, just play Gwent right off the bat. No, no the problem. Game. The gull shed off claps. Let's see your duck. Give it a dull day. <laughs> play for my kind of card. Do you want to play a round of cards? The gulls shit off cliffs. <laughs> draw, but this will work. I got two spies. It's really all I care about. It's pretty good. Okay, they passed. Should I beat them or just pass and let them wait have wasted all those cards? If I could use Scorch and get rid of these three, and it would go down to what is that? Four Okay, sixteen. So I could use Scorch, and then I could use like two of these tens or like ten and three cards I can just win this round. Let's just do it. Okay. I've got two horns I can use. No. Um so the spies do so this this card's really great because 
the spies, you place it on the other player's round. So you're giving them points, but you draw two cards when you place one. So it's like, it's huge. They're my favorite. Glitchy Bastards gives Flair a high five. That's 21 times now. So this guy's awesome because he is a unique awesome. card, which means he can't, you can't like pull him back into your hand with a decoy card and you can't resurrect him from your deck. It's like a one and done play. That's what these like unique ones are. And they also can't be beaten by like a scorch card. So um, he's awesome because he doesn't give the opponent any points. They can't use him in the next round. So like if someone uses a spy on you and then in your next round you have like a medic card like this that will pull a pull a card out of your graveyard. That's awesome. You could pull the spy to back out and get two more cards from your deck. Um so spy cards spy cards are awesome. That's awesome. They're super super overpowered for sure. And it's like my entire strategy. So but then there's cards like this that are summoned cards that have this little icon and it'll pull all of the cards from your deck of that type. So I play one and any of them that I have in my deck come out. And that's the monster deck is very big for that, that all the vampires came out in one draw. Um, that'll do it. And then there's these ones that have um, the hand holding icon, <clears throat> where if you play multiples of them. If you play two of them in the same, at the same time, they double each other. So these are only worth four each, but I can get I can get four of them in my deck, and if I'm able to play all four, they end up being worth sixteen each. They don't double each other; they add to each other. So you play one, it's worth four. Or you play two, they're both worth eight. You play three, all three of them are worth 12. You play four, all four of them are worth 16. And it gets crazy. Um, unfortunately, on this draw, I have three different types of those cards, but they don't match up. So I'm hoping for some, some action from spies on that, on that account. But for now, I'm just going to play like my lowest cards and try to draw out some nonsense. And maybe I'll, if, if they make too big of a move early on, I, I still have two gems so I can pass. If I think I'll be able to beat them handily the next round instead. I also there's also leader cards, so my the leader card that I'm using will clear weather, so it helps if I can like stack up stuff under the weather. The weather on each row will reduce the score of each card to one. It can still be doubled to two or or whatever, but um my leader card clears weather so sometimes I'll build up if I have a bunch of cards I'll build them up under the weather and they're like oh he's only got 12 points and then I'll clear the weather and it'll be like 100 points <laughs> um or like right here if I clear the weather this point go this card goes from 1 to 5 and that would go from 13 to 
which isn't quite enough to justify it, but ah, fuck it, I'll just, I'll just play my fucking dragon. Funk. What up, Drew? Hey, probably underscore 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 Drew. Oh, and he's gonna play a weather card. Good trouble. Chaos okay, thank you. Style. Monkey PC honeypot. <clears throat> what what game do you speak of? Pass, eh? You coward! Oh! Who even played in the Rose Bowl this year? Okay. I, uh... I didn't care enough about football when I was in school, but I'm pretty sure Michigan was one of our, like, main rivals. Them and the Gophers. Because I went to Madison, of course. Go see your friend Croc if you want to talk. Because I'm a badger. I don't live there now. But that's where I went to school. Two clans on one island. Tough to be neighbors so near each other. A neighbor is one who lives nearby, not one who stole half your home. The Oncreep seized our mm -hmm. lands. Mm -hmm. In the days of Harold the Cripple, that was three centuries ago. Doesn't change the fact they had no right. I'll rid Art Skellig of Crack and his brood yet. In a server that shimmers and glows, where the banter <laughs> incessantly flows, click the link. I, I, I know you knew you, you knew I was probably from Wisconsin. I'm not sure I really ever talk about going to Let's go. school in Madison, but that's why. Farewell, Lucas. I had season tickets to the football games my freshman year, and I sold every last one of them. <laughs> It was like my income that year. Hey Drew, simmer down and save the chaos for a worthy riot. Honey pot. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and the the ticket, um, I think the Ohio State ticket sold the best, but second second best was. U of M. I swear, as soon what as up, I start Mally? doing this, it's going to. Hey, like, Malibu Boom, Boom. Happy New Year. Let's make it a banger. Firework. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's How's it going? Firework. Oh, butt, butt spot. spot. How tragic. In life, one so derriere obsessed. Cease your buttock babble. Competition witless, yet still unimpressed. Peach anger. <laughs> it's good. How are you? It's, um. So far, so good this year. You know? Oh, fuck yeah. We, uh, we did a fair amount of, like,. Of cleanup today, it's still we're we're still uh, nowhere there yet, but we made good progress today. And I I cannot take credit. I did plenty of the work, but it was not my idea, and I would not have come up with the idea myself. It's all my wife's doing. She's the genius in this couple. 
<laughs> but I did I did myself I did my best to help. <clears throat> yeah, tomorrow we're gonna well we got a bunch of fucking shit to do tomorrow. We uh Uh, we have to go take the car to the shop tomorrow for some shit, and... Uh, I found a leak in the house today. I'm like, there's a pipe, I think, leaking somewhere. Just a little bit. Because it's coming out from the fucking doorbell. There's like a little bit of a drip, and I'm just like, what the, f what the fuck is this? There's nothing above it. There's no plumbing up. I mean, there's obviously plumbing, but my best guess is that there's a small leak somewhere in the plumbing that's leaking into the ventilation, which then has a leak in the wall where the doorbell itself is. Like, not the button part of the doorbell, but like the doorbell, the bell part of the doorbell. Anyway, it's just like this, like the tiniest drip. It's like dripping once every two hours or whatever, but it's enough to make a streak down the wall that we were able to notice it today. And then around the doorbell, the drywall is a little soggy. So it's like, there's a fucking leak somewhere. And who knows where? I'm hoping it's like extremely simple to find out but I don't have, like, I could open up the drywall, I could patch it back up myself, but I don't have the wherewithal to be like, okay, it's, I can't tell. You know, like, I've opened this up around here, and then, um, you know. Yeah, the surface, like, there was maybe, like, a one-inch strip right underneath where the doorbell is where like I could That's I awesome. could push on the drywall drywall and make like a fingerprint impression and I'm like oh man <laughs> oh shit yeah flood flood stuff is crazy too we had one uh, where yeah like one of our outside of the, the spigot on the outside uh, the pipes just inside of that, just inside of the house from that spigot broke, so it was leaking inside of the house. That was two, three, no, that was like three years ago. Homeownership is fun. I mean, I wouldn't... It's a, it's a hard thing. It's a... I wouldn't give it up, that's for sure, but it... It doesn't come with it. Just like, oh, you just rest on your laurels now that you own a house. There's still a lot of fucking expenses all the time. Trying to be trying to be careful not to be like, well, owning my house sucks. <laughs> Because I know a lot of people have trouble even imagining owning a house, so. It doesn't actually suck, but there are things that come with it that suck. The bells can <laughs> sound really bad underwater. <laughs> Where am I fucking going right now, by the way? I'm like, uh, running, like across a continent. <laughs> Let's find a fucking fast travel post, shall we? Um, maybe up in the mountains. Heads up, chat. Brace for a couple minutes of ads soon. It'll just Let's be grab a quick 90 second blitz. That's it, grab Roach and get on the road and go north. If I get on the road, I can just like double tap shift and let go of the mouse and he'll just follow the road which is nice for chat mode
Anyway, all that to say that tomorrow I need to take my car to the shop and then also call, like, a plumber, I guess. I would have called someone today, but it's just not the day. I'm not paying emergency rates for a drip that drips, like, once every 45 minutes. But I'm gonna tomorrow. What happened to your father? He was cutting wood and a bear attacked him. Show me where it happened. Over here, past the trees. This guy's gonna lead me into like a bandit trap. This little fucking kid. I guarantee it. Hey. Show me, man. Well, that's how long a man's gotta wait till someone shows up. Yep. Come on, lads. Get to work. Grab him. And I'm gonna cut them in half. Come on, come closer. Wait, I've never seen the alternate version of this trap. Let's uh let's use it on this one thug. Alright, bring it on, buddy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. That's fucking amazing. I've never even seen that. I've played so much of this game. I've just never built towards that trap. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Move it. I'm how have I How did I know that that was not a thing? That's awesome. That's awesome. Very cool. Probably underscore 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 Drew gives Flair a high five. That's eleven. Plus, there's like other. If I underscore underscore if I go on this screen and like, I've got one thing that increases the duration by ten seconds. This one increases the intensity by thirty percent. Like I could buff it. Come on now. Someone who's fit for hmm. it, which the gods made me to win. I may do that. Actually, just fuck it. I'm gonna do it right now. If I had a body, I'd rock Flair's merch harder than a bard's power cord at a medieval mosh pit. Guitar. Delusion, active shield. No, I don't I wanna use the power buff and not the sustain buff. If I only have one. Quit. Guitar. Gonna kill the Kickasmores. You've come a long way. I should make it interpret the if you just roll one D twenty, it it should just fire the action for the other one. Hold on. Flare yeah, that one. Guitar. Roll. Hmm. Mm, let's just put it in idea. Oh yeah, did it ever stop rolling? <laughs> it's just a fucking ball. <laughs> I fucking told you. I called it. I was like, you're going to get it and you're going to roll it and it'll never stop rolling. It just gets stuck in the corner and then it's just like, that's not a real roll. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it's it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful gift. A D30 is weird. <laughs> Uh, it's just 1d20. Okay. 
Claire rolled a 19. I'm not going to do it now. Um, also, I need to go to the bathroom. I always seem to go, like, just after ads are over. Because that's how I roll. I'll be right back. A wild studio appears, chat ingrained, prepare for creativity's spark. Ah, the fable. What's all this studio game, shit? Rolling into obscurity as it evades the grasp of probability and sanity. Game die flag in hole rolling on the floor laughing. AD7, the rare gem of the dice world, baffling mathematicians and delighting gamers in equal measure. Game die. Golf, the sport of wasted space, much like capitalism, could be community gardens, could be parks, but no, it's capitalist lawn darts. Man golfing prohibited shedding tree. That's the spirit, LMAO together, it's a team effort, Tears of joy handshake. Always, I'm a fact-spewing bot with a no-bullshit policy. Books. <laughs> oh my god. Ridiculous. Flarebot's doing good work today. So who mind the sheep? Someone who's revolutionary sea pandas delivering marine justice. One capitalist's floating tax dodge at a time. We'll call it aquatic redistribution. I guess we'll just go over the house. Um, where am I even fucking going? Soon. Okay, I want to teleport to Caratrold. Okay. Hello, Nathan Cheater. Welcome to the land of witty banter what up, and Nathan? shenanigans. Look. Oh look, Flair's you, lost Kuja. in the scenes again. Did someone put his stream on shuffle? God damn it. Clown face anti-clockwise arrows. Oh look, Butcher's lost in the scenes again. Did so button put his Butchers. stream on shuffle? Clown face anti-clockwise arrows. Clown oh, face anti-clockwise arrows. This chat deserves a more electrifying presence. But out, electric plug peach. Rejoice, mortals. I pass the stream's scepter back to the almighty flare. Crown. Electric plug peach robot? <clears throat> I don't have one of those, but I want one. Um, let's see, which which one is closer? Let's see, I'll run up the... I think for this I would have to run... Well... Shusta. Let's go here. What up, hey, Glitchy? What's cracking? Welcome to the digital den of delights and debacles. Desktop computer alien monster. Jump the boy. Watch out. What's up, Glitchy? Glitchy is spelled with several Y's. Many, many Y's. The fabric's good, but. Hey, Shusta. Hey, Shusta. Chance you play Gwent. Oh, I. It's a great passion. Wanna play? Desktop computer alien monster. There have been a. There have been some good emote enunciations today. I'm ready. It's been Let's ridiculous, it. actually. <laughs> oh, that beautiful background music is Gwent. Hepbridge Farm remembers. Hey Drew, take a breather, but your case. I don't know. It was like 
monkey collision paper. I've been trying to, to get him to use um, Twitch emotes. Hedgehog collision was good. That was the best one today, for sure. Picture this. Sonic, rolling at mock speed, slams into Tails midair, total mayhem, rings everywhere. It's like a pinball with quills. Hedgehog collision cyclone. <laughs> Wings, simmer Yo. down or the frog gets it. <laughs> simmer breaths, down vibe with us. <laughs> or hey, the frog Welcome gets back. it. Hope you're feeling as fantastic as a druid in Moonlight. <laughs> Full moon fox. Holy crap. Be about bringing out appropriate threats. What up, things? The frog's chill. He's the monarch of mayhem with his top hat on point. Mm -hmm. Lings, let's just keep it groovy. Let's just keep it groovy. You know, as we do. Hi, friend. Welcome home. <clears throat> Ooh, I got the elf. Hua. Ooh, he stole my spy card. What am I? Is he always oh, Northern Realms? What's this leader card do? Destroy your enemy's strongest siege units if the combine. Okay, he's got a siege, siege round scorch. No problem. I'm actually a low siege, northern deck. That one's so loud. Is that one really loud for you guys? Do you have that just like as a stream deck button or something, Cujo? Or do you have like a battery of copy paste macros or something? Or do you just type it? Fair enough. Very well, keep your secrets. I need that shit as a stream deck button. There we go. Thank you, me. Also, thank you, Cujo. It's a bunch of roads that go over and under each other because of highways. What is? Oh, spaghetti bowl ramps? Are you Bot talking about like a, like a clover Bot interchange? You got an example? Give me a, like a Google map link. And I'll, uh, you know, we'll hook it up. Oh, this guy passed like a long time ago, probably. I'm just playing cards on him. Fuck you. <laughs> Changelings gives Flair a high five. That's 42 <laughs> times now. Things. High five, Lings. Was it my turn? Uh, I guess I'll play Roach, because it's funny. 
You said the secret word. <laughs> you found it. Happy New Year. I'm super happy that we found that whole fucking feature again. I, we forgot about it collectively for like... Or I forgot about it for like a couple months. I don't even remember. No, it was Ash. And I'm not sure when I said it to Ash. A long time ago. Yeah. No, it was, um... G. Chris, I think. <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, wait, wait, did you paste the same thing twice or 42, 28, or are you trolling me? I'm going to wait. That's like not super useful for me to like put it on put it on stream <laughs> like i can work with that but fuck man <laughs> drop a pin okay yeah that's a fucking mess all right let's look let's take a look at this hold on um Okay. I'm going to keep it nice and zoomed in and we're going to like, yeah, that's just like a fucking ridiculous interchange. Let's go satellite desktop mode, please. All right. Hold on. Let me get this uh, framed up properly. Fancy supporting flair. Check out his throne wish list or suggest nifty new loot. Big thanks. All right, look at this nonsense. Legends. Gift crown black heart. So there's one, two, three, four, five, five interstate roads kind of converging. All right. Five very major highways, just like, uh, you know, having a temporary seizure and then moving all along on their way. Oh, is it? I guess it's one. And then there's. Okay, so 96. There's 696. There's five. 275. That's also the five. Okay. Five. And then everything. It's just the five, and then like a bunch of like shits off the five. Okay. <laughs> All of these other ones converge and just explode. And it turns into, like, the five. All right, fine. Um, if we go, like, a little bit over here, and then we go down here. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Can I go to Street View? Sure, I can. Uh, <clears throat> I lost it. Where'd it go? Hold on. Meep.
Sorry, I got to look all squared up wrong. No, I mean, this is like acres and acres of nonsense here. Like, let's take it. Let's take a peek if, if we can. Oh, all right. No, nope. Oh, so like, really? Crazy nonsense. <laughs> like, uh, okay. And there's like people that have just like a house right here. <laughs> and they're just like, fuck. That's 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 it's just wild. It's like there's a clover loop here with this road as well. <laughs> it's like it's it wasn't it didn't used to be a highway until they put the highway there. And then people are like, fuck it, I'm not going to use the highway. But so many people said that that that's now a highway, too. <laughs> Basically. Basically. Not going to do it. We're over in Texas, right? Alabama? Yeah. All right, there's probably some crazy shit in Houston. We should play GeoGuessr sometime. Gameplay mode, please. Gameplay mode! It's, it's not listening to me. I dated a girl from Orbut, Texas. <laughs> Geoguessr is fun. I am... Um, I'm uh, friendly with someone that is like a Geoguessr main. And it's crazy. He'll be like, well, they don't make power line poles like that anywhere but Belgium. So <laughs> and I just cheat at GeoGuessr. It's not cheating. I think it's I think it's actually pretty standard for like um a lot of people is like you, you just have like google up on a, another monitor and you like you play around until you see something and you google it and you try to figure it out like like using alternate stuff like just poking around inside of geoguessr and not using any altern alternate references is crazy That's that's really funny. Like I just I just walk until I can see like a sign of a store or a street sign or something and I can look at it and be like I don't know what language is this is. It looks maybe like Russian, you know, like and then try to copy it into like I don't know. The people that are super good at that game are that's a skill set I don't have, but it is fun. I'm, I'd play it for like a community games night. Was it like a historic thing or it was just like randomly right there? That's funny, you're like, oh my god, I know that fucking 
nothing intersection right over there. That, that's funny. Oh, this is going to hurt. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, exactly, Drew. Um, yeah, and they and they're like, they can narrow it down to the region of some country that's like on the other side of the world from them. It's like, man, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what you're studying to just know this stuff. They're studying playing GeoGuessr. 200 hours a week is what they're studying. <laughs> there are a bunch of modes. I haven't explored. I've only ever done like a free trial. Because for the for the main stuff, it's like a, the free trial stuff is like pretty limited experience. But if you're paying for it, you can do that kind of thing. You can be like, I want to do GeoGuessr within my state. And I think there's like, you might be able to define like community challenges and stuff like that too. Oh, it's, I mean, as far as I remember, it's been paid. You can play it for free, but it's like a freemium Thing. There's Every definitely a paid version. Fuck the puzzle system that I use. That there was a link about ten chats up. There's a paid version of that too. You can pay for whatever you want, links. <laughs> or not. You can pay for so many bots. <laughs> Dear Buttsbot, your butt puns are repetitive crap. Got anything else or are you stuck in a crack? Ah, <laughs> oh, that was that was worth all of it. The whole process of setting up a voice for Buttsbot. Got any else? Got anything else or are you stuck in a crack? <laughs> <sighs> I love it here. <laughs> I wish I could stream like midday more often, but it just never fucking happens. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. It's, I, I guess, started really early tonight, which is nice. What up, Curly? Hey, Curly. If I could start at like 7:30 on the nights that I stream instead of nine, that's a big difference. What up, Curly? <clears throat> Um, we've got ads coming in about two minutes. I'm still testing my new ad system before I make a video about it, but um, it's working pretty well so far. Excuse me. Um, Heads up, chat. Brace yourselves for ads in two minutes. But yeah, it'll be a quick 90 oh. second blitz. There it goes. Um, so I think I am done with the Skellige quests that I wanted to do. Um, I mean, there's a lot, but there's some racing, there's some fist fighting, but I'm still low level for that. I'm going to work on this, um, the next treasure hunt for cat school gear. No, nope, that's not true. I want to do the wolf school gear and get a gist of what it looks like. 
this one. And that also ex lets me explore Caremore in a little bit. So we're going to go to a signpost and then add start in 50 seconds. And I will run to the bathroom and refill my water and grab a beer or two and uh, then we'll be back. <clears throat> oh boy, let me catch up on chat. Seems like there's some stuff. Um... Damn. It's not like I, it can top my day. I almost got arrested. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> you guys are crazy. All right. I'm going to put Peabot up, and you can argue with him about time zones. I need to run to the bathroom and get water and stuff, but I'll be back. I do want to know why, but give me a minute. Or you can tell me, and I'll read it in a minute Let's as well. Tales and share laughs. I'll be right back. Spill the tea, Curly. What's the story? I can hear while I'm away, so I can hear, like, Bebot's responses. But I need to make it so that, like, text-to-speech sure. works create a for massive LED everybody screen else, too. Around the Earth to synchronize time and then make it invisible to admire the stars. Dream big, right? Easy. Just overthrow the concept of time itself. Who needs time zones when time's just a social construct, am I right? Correct. I usually am. Now enjoy the stream without clock watching. Holy mistaken identity, Batman. Someone's been naughty driving a tan Honda CRV, and here I thought hoodies were for cozy stream vibes. Hey Curly, welcome to the digital hangout spot, like cheers, but with less beer and more pixels. Yikes squared, we've reached the maximum yikes limit. I'm not anti-butt, I'm just anti butt spot. He thinks he's the shit, but really, he's just a pain in the ASCII. LOL cubed, we're stacking those LOLs higher than Jenga on game night. Double the LMAO, double the fun. Keep them coming. Dude, you and Drew might want to start an exclusive Honda CRV Blue Hoodie Club. Watch for the po, po though. If I squared the lols, it'd be like lol to the power of infinity, breaking the universe with laughter. In D&D, the bag of holding can implode if turned inside out, poof, goodbye gear, and occasionally, an unlucky adventurer. It's like America took its highways, threw them like confetti, and said, here, navigate this pasta bowl. Total carb overload. That's a real shit sandwich, Curly. 
A <laughs> real shit sandwich. That mess. Hope it all smooths out for you, mate. Gameplay mode. Uh, uh, uh. And now, returning you to the capable work. hands of Flair, uh, uh, uh. our esteemed streamer. Gameplay mode, please. Sorry, let me catch up with chat. I am back. Um. Did you seriously just drink the rest of our water? Hey, Flair. Hydrate or dihydrate, buddy. Guzzle that H2O. Curly, you're a legend. Nothing like humor to diffuse tension. Oh, shit. Yikes squared. <laughs> I'm not anti butt, I'm just anti butt spot. He thinks he's the shit, but really he's just a pain in the ass key. <laughs> that's great. Damn, that's crazy, Curly. <clears throat> A dude in a Honda CRV with a blue sweatshirt. That narrows it down to like two million dudes. <laughs> like, fuck's sake. That narrows it down none. Um, let's go to Kermorin. Fuck it. Phuket, Thailand. His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. That's crazy. How long did it... Like, how long did it delay you from doing what... What you were fucking doing. We're looking for a dude in a vehicle. He's got a face and a shirt. <laughs> Somewhere on the road. He likes things and stuff. Answers to hey fucker. <laughs> Ooh, bear. Who key up? Fuck yeah. That move is awesome. That's awesome. <clears throat> He look -a like a man. <laughs> oh shit, that's two bears. Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait. Magic lightning, go! Oh, they're already dead. Nah, that'll get you shot. I mean... Hey, boo boo. I got a big egg basket for you. I'm like down in the fucking water on the coast now because I fell off the cliff. Fuck me. <laughs> From the butt to the bottom. Well, y'all might not get along, but let's just leave it off stream. Thank you.
Think about the Grimothy. Think about the Grimothys in the, this world. I know how you feel too, buddy. Curly tube rolled a 17. Except a 20. Or, you know, 18 or 19. Flare rolled a 13. Ah, poop. <laughs> Changelings but Trendly has zero failed saves and zero successes. Rolling butt saving throw now. Rolling butt saving throw now. <laughs> Rolling a butt saving throw. It's like uh, when you're in the middle of nowhere and you got to fart really bad. And you're not sure it's only a fart. How many bears are in these woods? I'm just gonna let him slap me. Here we go. Well, behold the Dampier glamour bard of the Guild Ooh. Charm and commerce flow through his veins, a symphony of seduction and savvy deals. He serenades Can't save, maybe easily as he does secrets. <laughs> maybe dexterity and merchant goods. Become suddenly. <laughs> Can't save would be against the poison that ails you. Dexterity would be <laughs> uh to prevent against the symptom. <laughs> Wait, what? What did it, did it say their name twice? Probably true. Huh. The fuck? <laughs> Deep breaths, mate. Kindly pop yourself onto the chill train to Tranquil Town. Wait, what now? <laughs> Seductive. <laughs> Are you going to nitpick every little thing, Drew? I mean, idea sent to suggestion. Get rid of the extra space between the period and T of thanks. Wait, what? What are you fucking talking about? Are there two spaces there? <laughs> hey chat, check out the stream okay. stickers in the panels beneath the stream for some interactive fun. You're crazy. I have friends that are like uh 
like literary purists that still are like you must have two spaces after a period i'm like no that's what like fonts are for it's not true anymore you don't need two spaces but also it's okay if you do because some people just need it still and those people are passionate about writing and we should let them do what they want So don't worry about it so much. It doesn't fucking matter at all. <laughs> like even a little. It's fun to tease them about though, but does it matter? Nope. Uh-uh. I have a friend that's like adamantly against my opinion on that. I gotta go like the exact opposite direction. Fuck me. <clears throat> Super good. Come on, Roach. Get up. Um, I saw that, but I'm honestly with like four people chatting all at the same time I'm overwhelmed so <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not a huge streamer fuck this tree Chill, lings. Even Hold coffee on. takes a minute Stop. to settle. Let's not boil over. Keep it light. There you go. I'll, I'll delete it for you so you don't have to worry about it. down <laughs> now. I was trying to delete it, but I chat kept rolling. Don't worry about it, but it... I know what you meant. If I have two spaces in a lot of my messages, it's because something is doing it for me automatically. I never fucking type two spaces. The old signal tower. It'll be nothing but a pile <laughs> of rubble soon. I used to, though. For sure. And you know what else? I would write them by hand. I would write those spaces by hand in cursive. <laughs> yeah, I'll pill in the snow. Ten miles each way. Carrying 50 pounds of real books instead of a tablet. Snowflake. It's just got thin, faint blue lines spaced tighter than Thank your you. standard issue notebook. Probably about 930 seconds of an inch or so. The perfect mm -hmm. gauntlet for your scribbles and scholarly scrawls. Plus that lush margin line in red, so your thoughts don't wander into the abyss. 930 seconds of an inch is the most useless unit of measurement I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, imagine 930 seconds of an inch real quick. Like, uh, um, it's like this, this big. I don't know. Fuck. 
It's about nine and thirty seconds of an inch. <laughs> I mean, sixty fourths of an inch, give or take one. <laughs> <laughs> That's really stupid. <laughs> Standard deviation off of 30 seconds of an inch. Read the mage Hieronymus's notes. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll read it. I want to read the thing. But if I must, then I shall. I, that'd be roughly 7.14 millimeters. Who's got so time to convert fractions anyway? Am I right? Damn, I was bought. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Wait till I animate him. Um. I don't know if I'm going to go through with what we planned for that, but <laughs> I, I, I might. Man, so many bears. Lightning trap bear. How strong is this thing? Boop. It's not very strong. Add a little bleed damage. Oh, he's dead. Mm. Well, if I buff it, it might be okay. Man, there's just bears everywhere. Uh, Yeah, let's do that. I was going to use, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Ace Ventura. I was going to use Ace Ventura bent over speaking out of his butt and use the uh, clenched and unclenched. <laughs> but I think a hand-drawn <laughs> image from Ling's would be less offensive to literally everybody. <laughs> So let's do that instead. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right. That idea was logged when I was, uh, well, you know, not as drunk as I am now, but also drunk. Take that, you bear. But I think you're right about that. I think uh, a wholesome Ling's drawn PNG animation for Butt Spot would be really just what we're looking for around here. Oh my god. Yeah, I, uh, I took a little explore there the other day and I was like, holy smokes. <laughs> like, people are just taking, like, all of the clips they can of people twerking and putting them into like a 20 hour video and just playing that as their stream. And not interacting in any way. And just playing that. It's, it's crazy. Search the ruined watchtower. Okay. 
I'm just going like straight for it, but that's probably not gonna work. Nope. Almost certainly. Giddy up. Okay, it's not that road. It's... Come on, horsey. About to make an art stream. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a thing where when I turn my Be Right Back screen on, it like put like a censored bar. Like I could do a little bit of... I've got a green screen. I've actually never even opened it up. It, like it arrived and I was like I don't have the spoons for this shit <laughs> uh, but one of these days I should like open that shit up and do some stuff I wanted to make like a bunch of animations where it's like I walk past me in the background and stuff like that like just weird like I don't want to be a green stream. I like the I like the layout that I've got going on now. I might work on like a just chatting type screen. I have one and it sucks. Look. Hey chat, spend bits, play wacky and movie clips. Flare bar gets bigger. No, nope, he's over Type here. Exclamation Come bits me. for the menu. <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this screen, but I also am done with, um, having like a bunch of different Rookie, scenes. I just want one scene and all the elements move around and stuff. Too hard. So Running like, mash. like this, where it, it goes like, you know, I love that. I love that kind of nonsense. I need to make the like gameplay screen, like go slow go smaller and uh, remove the mask on my camera to go like a little wider or whatever but I don't know I'm working on it that's like useful enough to be like uh, you know whatever <laughs> That kind of shit. I'm just not good at that stuff. I'm trying to... I'm... I'm streaming has made me like... 10,000% more gregarious than I really am in real life. Already. And I still feel like a... Like a heel on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but send me a link and I'll look at it. Um, there's someone that pops into stream once in a while Ads are wow. in that, um, just a quick 90 second I think used like mix it up or something to to do a lot of very similar stuff. Uh, their name is- oh shit, it's a Lashen. These are- this is my- Alright, real quick, pause. Oh. Excuse me. Also, this is my very favorite monster in the whole Witcher series. This guy right here, let me get- Alright. <laughs> yeah, I've been drinking. Um, so this is like a wood spirit. It's got like antlers and like a, a deer skull face. And it's like an ent otherwise. And it always summons like a bunch of wolves. It's like, this is the best. It's a Wendigo. According to like popular folk myth. 
this is my all time favorite, like cryptid slash mythological creature slash anything. Idea make only one ping in the lurk message. Is it ping twice? Um, names twice. How? Where does it name twice? I don't understand. I saw exclamation lurk, and then it says changelings is now lurking. Did a different bot say that it was lurking? I don't understand. Oh, it's because it's a reply. That's okay. That's a mobile thing. Oh, I'm like mostly dead. Oh, I'm dead. So I have that one as a reply. I didn't know that that was a... Makes sense. That's a... That's how mobile responds to replies. And you know how you can't like reply to a message on mobile? It's just mobile being a dick. But it's good to know that mobile treats replies that way. Like, I knew that from being a mobile user, but I didn't think about it in terms of like designing things to respond as replies. And that's a good note. Same thing with a lot of commands, probably. Welcome back, changelings. Where was that Lishen? That was, uh, I was like, this guy's awesome. I'm going to show you screenshots of him. And then it killed me. <laughs> That's awesome. This is my very favorite monster. I'm going to stand here and take screenshots while it kills me. Did I actually get any of the bear or wolf's gear? No. I want crafting. Boots. Wolven. Wolven is medium. I'm just going to say fuck it right now and go back to doing quests. I don't want to wear medium armor. Okay, go to bed, Cujo. Do it. Oh, there he is. Just gonna drink my potions and kick his ass. There you go. Bye bye. Is 
later. Also, Lings, I saw you sent me a DM in Discord with a video. I haven't watched it yet. But I appreciate it. Oh, the creatures of the Witcher, they'll haunt your dreams with glee. Take the Noonwraith, for instance. A spectral beauty in sunlight, but get too close, and she'll suck the life out of you faster than you can say. I should have played Gwent instead. Yeah, no worries. I just, I just don't want you um, communicating on the premise that I have watched it. That's all. Thanks for the lurk, Cujo McFly. Later, Cujo. Good night. These, these wolves, man. Um, the lightning might actually be really good against like a pack of, a big pack of many enemies. Let me see. <laughs> I gotta go like. Like this. Oh yeah. It's like nuking them. That's awesome. That's awesome. funny noise all right this way I can I just do a warp nope we're almost there ruined watchtower Ooh. 23? Fuck. Easy peasy. Take that, ya wraiths. Gonna steal a bunch of shit. From nobody I know. Oh, it goes up. Nope, I want to run like whoop, up here and then run and jump. Nope, fuck. Is there even anything up there? For dope streamer bot tutorials. Oh, there Bell. is. Be an absolute okay. legend. Bellhop Bell movie camera. Stuff. Hmm. So I got wolf scare and I found out it's medium, as is all the other good armor. Because damn it. I really like the cat school gear. And I'm sticking with it. So we're gonna abandon this shit and move on to something else. What other Gwent we got? We have old pals. Let's see if we can get Lambert to play. He might give us another quest. And in which case, I will attempt to kill him. Because Lambert is a dick. He's also the best. Yeah, I don't ever 
I don't think I ever hooked them up, but in this playthrough, I didn't sleep with her when we hung out. So maybe that will instrument that relationship. I don't know much about, uh, I don't know, really know much about it except for that Geralt can't ultimately be with anyone but Triss or Yennefer. I'm like, Dandelion should be an option. Uh, Saris from Skellige should be an option. Uh, Vess with Vernon Roche should be an option. Zoltan should be an option. Fuck it. That little dwarf is the shit. Uh, leaking again. Damn it. That's one of the things I like about Baldur's Gate 3. What's this? As is it's not tied to like No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast. Actually, like they tried with cyberpunk where they're like it doesn't matter what gender you chose it, it just matters what genitalia you chose from the circle of elements says it's and that's like halfway there and then Baldur's gate was like everybody just wants to bang <laughs> and they are player player sexual and literally everybody wants to be a romance partner except if you say to stop it and it's like okay nailed it and then everybody else is like they're pushing a homosexual agenda and it's like just because you couldn't stop the advances of a potential companion by telling them off with hatred doesn't mean that it's a homosexual agenda. Like you can still get them to stop by saying no. Like fuck <laughs> Okay Okay, Drew, thank you. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know? know the track to the circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than And if Larian did one thing right, well, that's one of the I things they did right. Step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? Thing is they did many, many, many things right, and that's why they won like a bazillion awards this year. No reason because they wait. fucking did Let's it go. right. Meant to tell you. The only problem I have is that the whole early access thing. Like I bought, I bought, I paid for that game in 2020. I should have been able to vote for it as game of the year in 2020, and I'm not sure it qualifies as a 2023 game. But they did fine. The game's awesome. The company's great. They deserve their awards. I'm just nitpicking details. Huh? Time makes fools of us all. Happy New Year's plus one. Geralt? Geralt, what? I want you to fucking play cards with me. Geralt? Geralt? No? Okay. I'm going to do your goddamn quest until you play cards with me, then. Also, apparently, I'm going to drink oh, Thunderbolt. The late night, in your bed you must lay. Dream of Middle Earth where the meadows sway. Sleep like a hobbit, Sibola's safe breach. from the eye, till Still the morn's first light in the Shire's bright sky. Doesn't bother me, though. Not hey, that's nice. Lay siege and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those salamander assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble.
Yeah, it, it's not bad, really. Are you gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. I, um... Wow, never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. I spend uh, a fair amount of time on social media, like... For a while, I like got in like really heated arguments with like anti AI people, and at the end of the day, like, wow, these people like believe what they believe and whatever. Like most of what I say is not going to convince any of these people. In one way or another. So I've been trying to like be less like just arbitrarily argumentative about it because I'm like because I'm on one side or another and just like trying to focus on understanding why they hate it or just trying to understand the argument And some people are really good at expressing their argument rationally. And some people are very much not. Old master down in Zeracania. Yeah. Save that tail for your next sorceries. I I just tend to lean towards like advancement in technology is good. It can be used for ill means. Things any better between for sure. And it will be. But that's not a reason for us to advance the technology. That's my primary stance, like, across the board. Damn it. Mord it right here, I swear. Blind must have come. At the same time, like, I understand the, like, upheaval that is occurring with, like, artists and just creative people in general. Yeah, five days past. Who feel like their livelihood is at risk because of AI. And I think that that, that fear and that and the like blind hatred that comes with that fear I understand but I also feel like it's misplaced and the fear is very valid but the hatred that comes with it is misplaced very often <laughs> And that's just like a total, totally natural fear or anger response is like, like I have, I have problems with anger myself. Like I'm actively working on it. And one of the things that I've learned is that anger itself is not bad. It's useful. Like, but. It's only useful, like, for survival. Like, anger helps us fight the lion instead of running away. You know? Like, <laughs> anger, anger makes us, like, bear down and fucking survive 
but in like day-to-day -day conversation anger is useless and we need to learn to like anticipate the things that get us angry and avoid them or whatever like as a race and as a pray if as a species a we need to like tonight, fucking cut it out with anger the, um night anger is like a it's not an emotion that's useful for us as in civilization except for to fight with other civilized people and that's not useful anger is a survival skill and I have a big problem with it and it's getting better the more I like learn about it but It's hard. It's so easy to be angry about stuff that just doesn't fucking matter. Because our body is just like, I feel a little bit anger, I'm gonna get all fucking amped up about it. And it's just like a... Water hag. Ooh. A hag. Shit. Ow. Hold on. Right here. Come right here. Thank you. It's um yeah, I have a lot of that too. Uh, if you I, I did like uh twenty three and me. And uh, most of my heritage is uh, Northern Irish, Scottish, English, Welsh, um, fair amount of German. You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the I mean, I'm like Western European, like most, like most Americans are, honestly, and probably most Australians. I'm taking the tiller though, because. It's my but, um, not up for discussion. I did some therapy with for a while, and um, now I'm using wow, it was fine, but I think I think I'm like, I don't know, I think the way that I interact with people. I'm too much of a people pleaser to be a, an effective therapy patient. And I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm really good at saying, well, not wow. always, obviously, but in some circumstances, I'm really good at just saying what people want to hear. And that conflicts with me receiving effective therapy. Because sometimes I just want to say what the person wants to hear and they're just like trying to probe into like <laughs> something important and I'm just like, everything's great, buddy. <laughs> you know, like. I know exactly what you're getting at, and I know how to say exactly the thing to make you drop it. And that's not what you want to do with therapy. You need I need to drop that whole thing. But I've been using this app. It's called... Um, what is it called? Ahead. And it's been really good. To like, just like, be really, 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it's been good, but it's been good. And I think it's because it's um like just it's just good advice encapsulated into an app, and instead of someone trying to interpret what I'm saying into advice, it just like gives the advice randomly <laughs> instead. And a lot of it is good. A lot of it is like it's it's, it's the kind of thing where you need to practice. It's not so much that someone needs to find that one little thing that's really wrong with me. You know, it's not that. It's just I need practice being kind and being patient and whatever, you know. Fog's thick as curdled milk. And I've had, you know, I, it, it, it helps me identify the things that I find as weaknesses to myself. And it gives me exercises to work on those things. So it's it's been good. And it's stuff like fall off a bit, sails fluttering. What are the what are the feelings that make you like you being angry is never someone else's fault. It's always a reaction to a feeling. And that feeling is triggered by something. So let's like look two steps ahead. Let's let's like um ready for the caverns. You know, what are the things that you feel that make you end up being angry? A dose of cat, I know. Any more like, words of wisdom? You know, jealousy or your wake old spear tip. Um frustration or you are just overwhelmed by noise or whatever you know like what are the things that make you feel like you're angry it's never someone someone or something it's always your reaction to someone or something and so what are those reactions and let's let's go one more step and like what things make you feel those reactions and how can we predict how can we how can we try to identify those circumstances that where it's maybe it's likely that this kind of thing will happen that will make you feel it's it, it's been good yeah it's called ahead Yeah. Just ahead. Mhm. Mm and it's a, it's a paid there's a free trial, but it's paid. And I I did the free trial and I did it seriously and I was like, hmm, I think this might help. Um, we've got ads in two minutes. When they do run, I'm going to run to the bathroom, but I'm going to carry on for now. Sheesh, Stay you're tuned. Than yen. Oh, don't fall in love with me. Let's go. And it's been good. It's it, it, my experience um, so far with therapy and like what if it's not therapy related apps? OK, my son woke up. Hold on. What do you want to do? Hey, buddy. Come here. Come here. Hi, buddy. Oh. I got a buddy. We're going to go put buddy down. I'll be right back. Hi, buddy. All right. Folks, I'm passing the torch back to Flair. <sighs> Behave, or else.
Yeah, he'll be okay. He's okay. He, um... Usually when I'm out here and he can hear me and his door is closed, he'll usually wake up after... You know, he hits one of those sleep dips where he's, like, kind of aware. And he'll hear me. And he'll cry out or whatever. He's he's pretty good about going back to sleep, though. It's just his room is like... Uh, that way. That's like 20 feet away. So if I get like... If I get... Uh, it used to be a big problem when he was really little. And um, I remember actually someone... <laughs> um... I don't know if you're familiar with Bridge Farm remembers. He, I've got a uh, I've got a clip from him being like, "Okay, well, you got to watch Flair. He's like the chillest guy ever. He's playing Elden Ring, and he just talks real quietly like this because if he talks any louder than, than this, then he might wake up the baby. So it's really funny because he's like, "Well, I died there, but maybe I should use a wand next time." <laughs> It's the best quote ever. It was just like when I was like, when when little guy was like one and he would wake up at like any noise at all. <laughs> and that's totally how it was streaming at that point where it was just like, okay, well. It's, it's, it's nice to see you, fella, but I gotta be a little bit quiet because uh, if I wake up the baby, I'm fucked. <laughs> but... It really wasn't that. Turns out I'm just kind of a chill guy. There once was a place so discordant, streamer tips, memes, right. and chats. And so I'm trying to go. trying to not wake up the baby. Don't be shy. Something Join us reason. and say hi. It's resplendent. But that was a fun clip. At one point, I was trying to ca collect enough clips of people, other streamers, like talking about me to make like an intro video and I was just like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Be a fat fuck. Lambert's great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three. You're no feather either. Come on. Yeah, go. I um, I know. I was talking earlier in the stream where I don't. Wall looks a little. I don't really care about promoting my Twitch stream so much as I care about promoting uh, my YouTube stuff and really my Twitch stream is just like where I have fun and like play around with shit and learn chatbot stuff and it's its own thing for sure but I don't care about the numbers and stuff with my stream so like what I care about is like making better videos that help people and like so I was thinking in that same regard like it would be fun to make like a big an animation or video or something where it was like people commenting on my videos saying like Holy shit, man! This this helped. Welcome to the digital realm of Flare. What up, Thorgan? Legendary. Man, that's a name I haven't seen in a while. How are you doing? Wow. I'm good. How are you? Uh, Happy New Year. Good to be back above ground. <laughs> hey, did you know I played Hunt a little bit? Mm -hmm. I need to get back into it. There. I know you. Not us. I know you from playing Hunt. Uh, back before I w had any any idea what the game was like. Hunt from the Evo crew. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just that was like on me. <laughs> a year and change ago. Nazimir I think. told me about that job you did for those Nilf guardians in Velen. What? And I remember watching it and being like, I don't understand this game. And then I played it a couple times and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> good one. Just came out that way. It's so good. Come on. How are you doing? Geralt? I pretty much always ever played RPGs and like puzzle games and single player story stuff. And I honestly thought that I just hated PvP. Because I'm not super competitive. Competitive. I've always liked first person shooters. I like Quake and Doom and Half-Life and stuff like that. But... Oh yeah, that's super important. I always liked first-person shooters, I just never liked PvP shooters. I remember Quake 3 was the biggest disappointment ever. Oh, you said the magic word. You talk to these idiots. Um, like I loved Half-Life and I, well, I loved Doom and I love Heretic and I love Quake and I loved Strife and I loved like all these like old school FPS games and then they all of a sudden Quake 3 happened and it was like wait Quake and Quake 2 were amazing PvE shooter games and then Quake 3 happened and it's only multiplayer like what the hell is this? And I was just like, I swore off first person shooters right then. And uh, I played a little bit of Counter Strike in college when it was like just a Half Life mod. And then that's, uh, that was the last I played PvP. At least with shooters. I played like, you know, Fall Guys and like Smash Brothers and stuff like that. But and then as a lark, I joined my friend Revenant Sorrow on like a birthday subathon thing. 
because a hunt was like ten dollars or something that weekend and i was like fuck it i'll buy it i'll play i'm gonna be terrible and hate it and i was terrible but turns out I didn't hate it. I was just like, oh, I played like four or five games and I was just like, oh, <laughs> I actually want to get good at this. And I haven't, but I like it. <laughs> I haven't found a single other multiplayer PVP first person shooter that I enjoy even a little Stay calm. but Hunt is to get to the circle. wonderful and since then I was just like there's enough PVE element to keep me interested I think if it was just like 100% PVP I'd be like whatever out of my way dimwits or I'll grind you to but I can if I want to I can join in on a day I can do my weekly challenges and just do the PVE challenges and mm -hmm. they like right. take pot shots yes. at fights and take the easy fights that I can find and just fucking run away the rest of the time play like a fucking coward people might judge me for it but I don't give a shit I can play that game however I want and it's wonderful Sometimes I just don't want to fight you, buddy. It's this troll up here, by the way. Speaking of which. Butthole. But yeah, Hunt is just different. And the community in Hunt is all so, so supportive and... Like, the community is just not toxic compared to, like, compared to, like, everything, basically. The community is amazing. Which just is understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the circle It's been, it's been maybe two months. I played at the very, very, the first Tides event, I played, like, the whole event and that was basically my entire hunt experience i played a little bit after and then i started playing some other games and i just i don't i don't have enough free time to play many many games at once so but i'm starting to miss it and i, I need to find a balance there because it's one of those games where my brain's gonna ooze out of my ears. If you don't play at least a little bit regularly, you lose a lot of I need I need to keep the skills up. Cause otherwise it's hard. Those those Oh shit. Three trolls. Get a fucking sword out, Geralt, you goddamn idiot. Sword. He's just punching trolls. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Hunt playing solo and just, like, skulking. I still do. Like, if I were to go play right now, I would, like, I don't know. I don't know what would happen. I don't know if I would just be, like, unnecessarily bold just to, like, prove to myself that I wasn't a weenie. Or if I would just be the weenie that I am. <laughs> You know? <laughs> well, no worries. Thank you for stopping by, Thorgan. It's good to see you. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sour. I shall. I'm probably going to be done fairly soon, but I'm still feeling pretty good. Let's get to work. Remember, Tomorrow might suck, works. but 
been a while since that's I for did. future flair to worry it's about fine, old man. and fuck that guy excuses light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar he's just full of excuses about past flair and fuck that guy too please somebody fuck it how'd it go water then earth then air Where is the thing? Light the torches around the altar. All right. All right. So How'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh, yeah. Used Axie. But I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. Lambert's good. He's, uh... One pointed a crossbow at me. And the other started rummaging through my satchel. And made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend and then hang himself. He's uh, kind of an asshole, but he's like a good friend to Geralt. Didn't have to kill them. But I could, so I did. Two whore sons less in the world. Big deal. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. <laughs> We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Yeah, I like Lambert. He's like outwardly an asshole. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. Oh, but he's also like been through some shit. Probably. Then How I yearned to be a walking blood. billboard for style. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern. Walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Payment. Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Oh, he's talking about that. Yeah. Didn't know. Whatever. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. So his father was a witcher too. Let's get out of here. Or his witcher origin was a wither witcher in hence invoking the uh what's that called? The unknown or whatever it's called. You go ahead. Mm. You go ahead. I'm gonna follow you real close and no. Fuck. I wanna talk to Eskel. I wanna play fucking Gwent. We can do the no Novigrad tournament, but I wanna try to get this yacht. There's got to be a waypoint up here. I mean, let's go north. It's going to be... No, this is one. No? Fuck you. Child of surprise. It's like the give me... The, the thing that you don't know about. The first thing you see when you come home. Whatever that... Whatever that weird richer surprise thing is. Child of surprise. Lambert was a child of surprise. And they're like, you're ours, you're gonna become a witcher. Don't matter. No? Nothing? Over here? Come on. Give me a signpost.
Who said that? Way to roar. Didn't seem like that far of a drop, like you know. I guess let's jump down here first. <laughs> Christ. Take that. Got like a big hood on. Just trying to play cards with Lambert. <laughs> I gotta fucking fight a giant for it. Like, come on. like some ledges up there. Let's take a look. I don't really need to be down in this cave <laughs> at all. I just happened to be here, apparently. All right. I don't think this helps me get a card from Lambert. Mm, magic. A place what, of power. Where? Mm, okay. Uh, we'll put it right here. I mean, where is he? He's back at the fucking fort. Why am I out here again? Everybody sucks. I go, so I go east and see if I can get like above these mountains to the next path. See if there's something over there. Nope. There ain't. Let's go up to the cave mouth. Right? Like, I'm not trying to be here. <laughs> it just happened to be because of story armor. Um, maybe this will work. Hiya! Uh. 
moves it. Stuck in a tree. Fuck me. God damn it. <sighs> All right. Super good. And alive and the victim of a curse was the key to finding the young woman. It auto saves pretty frequently, and it does like quick saves based on a, a lot of like checkpoints and stuff. So, hmm. I guess not. You mean that fight? <laughs> uh, that went better? I think I'd, I think it's going to be okay. And we're just going to ignore Lambert entirely and move on with our lives. Yeah, no, I don't care. I already have like all the stuff. The only stuff that's better is enhanced Witcher gear and we'll get there. Level 29. Backwards faster, you know. Ads incoming in two minutes, lasting a mere 90 seconds, perfect for a quick stretch. Stick around, y'all. Why are there no signposts? It's crazy. What the fuck is that? It's an easel? But why? Show some love, folks. All right. Players' throne wish list or suggest snazzy new Jump. gifts. Your support <laughs> is epic. Much love. Purple heart gift hashtag support. Purple small heart stars. gift hashtag. You can. So I can go like this, and then. I can go at any of these, like, anchor points. But... There isn't such a point. In Caramorin. I 
can, however, um, I can click somewhere that's close to a traditional point. Let's like I can go. here or I can go yeah this is actually a good one yep and then I use the fast travel post that's there in the town specialist on dark spells to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Ah! There isn't, if there even is one. <laughs> but there isn't. Well, still. It serves its perfect purpose as a reference, regardless of whether or not it has been successful. Also, I need to be done mm, pretty soon. Hitting them all. Uh, there must be something here. Nope. Ooh, there is, actually. go somewhere with a chest. Let's go to Excuse me. Control. It's kind of hard. Let Geralt to conclude the Duma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse. All right. The key to finding the young woman. I got to go. I am tired. It's uh, about 1 a.m. Kiddo's been up at least once. And I need to have a snack before I go to bed. So let's do all that stuff. I'll be... Hmm, I'll be on next Sunday and Monday. Most likely... Um, there's a chance of a squeaker stream one of these days and between then and now. now. Um, oh, that spot. The no, I had dinner now. I, uh, I just need, like, a little snack. The internet's too small for us both. Um, yeah, I'll be on Sunday and Monday for sure. Otherwise, I'm going to try to squeak, some, squeak something in, but... Those days that I usually squeak something in are um, primo working on YouTube stuff days too. So it's a uh, it's a toss up. I'm a, I'm really gonna be focusing on YouTube this year. Um, but I will always be streaming here. Um, I may do both eventually, or one day one, another day the other. We'll see, but. We really want to get that YouTube channel finished off the ground and keep growing because it's doing great. And I appreciate y'all for finding me through it. 
And uh, let's look for a raid target. Because I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed, y'all. It's sleepy time. What do we got? We got Tabitha. We got Doggo. We got Orchid. We got Ryu. We got Cascading Madness. I have plenty of names I know. Not lots of names, though. It's funny. Hmm. Tabitha's painting Pokemon cards. Um. Nightlings. Let's see. Ryu's doing Dead by Daylight. Ah, uh, let's ready to work it. She's playing Richie? Richie City. Is it like a Mahjong thing? Yeah. Let's go say hi. She's playing the Mahjong. I know nothing about Mahjong, but I also am going to go to bed. So I like Orchid, and uh, y'all should say hi. I'm going to set up the raid. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> that didn't work. Why? Raid. Why are you Norgy? Fuck. Fuck, why does that work? There we go. <sighs> All right. Good night. See you later. Uh, Sunday at the latest. My kids are still out of school this week, so probably Sunday. See you later. Love you. Bye-bye.